Hey everyone, we should be live. We are doing an NVLink live overclocking stream today, originally in response to Paul. But before I get further on that, let me know if you can hear us okay. Stream should be coming up momentarily. He sh should be able to see us at this point. So uh, let me know if you can hear me. If you can, we'll keep going. So this is <laughs> originally, Paul sort of jumped in our last stream where I was working on just, uh, okay, cool. People are saying we can hear you. I sound is good. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. All right. So here's what happened. We did a live stream about a week ago with a single card, and it ended up being the uh, XC Ultra from EVGA, which is in there now. And so our goal was 7,400 points. We reached the goal, and then Paul, well, technically Paul reached the goal first. He joined our stream, and he tweeted, and said something about how, I don't know, he tweeted like a screenshot of it with like RIPGN or something like that. And then 30 seconds later, he tweeted and said this was either uh, perfectly timed or very poorly timed because we hit the same, like just past him in score at the same time as he hit our target. So uh, now I think the latest is, I, I, unless Paul's updated, I think we were both at 74, 35 points for graphics for a single card. And then Jay came out of nowhere and Jay posted a number one score on Times by Extreme around the same time we did our NVLink testing. So can't have that, of course. We already had a Rip LTT stream, and uh, Linus sadly never responded. So, well, he kind of did. He, he said uh, he tried the four GV100 quadros and it didn't work out so well. So now we gotta, now we gotta go after whoever's left, which is gonna be Jay, because as we all know, and Jay of course knows this, within a matter of a week or weeks, it will be completely impossible for Jay or myself to be number one, probably number two, or number three on the board because people who are actually really, really skilled in overclocking or are kingpin uh, will, uh, will take all those spots. So we're gonna take it while we can. Jay had his turn to be number one. I'm gonna take my turn to be number one and then neither of us will ever have it again until the next launch because the only way we could really truly compete with people like kingpin is to have early, ac well, he has early access to. I guess he's just a nice guy, because Kingpin could definitely just take number one right now. Either way, it'll be a lot of fun. We're gonna try and beat out Jay this time. He's, uh, he's got a pretty high score. It'll be tough to beat him, but I think we can do it. Okay, so let me check on chat. People say they can hear things okay, cool. One person complained about video quality, but I don't know, it looks like it's 1080 to me. Try changing it manually. Uh, Kane Penn really is just a nice guy. He is a nice guy, actually. And I, yeah, he's probably just sandbagging and letting us take it for a bit. He's, he's sitting back and laughing at how he can beat those, his, his robot, RoboClocker, can beat those scores while he sleeps. All right. So, oh yeah, how much, so, so some people have referenced the, uh, the rap battle that was going on on Twitter where we started a, uh, Oh, it started because Paul joined our stream last time. I, I'll keep talking until we get some more people in chat. It's filling up. And uh, I asked Paul, so is this, is this a, a beef? Are we beefing? Paul, how does one beef? And he and I both did a lot of research, and we realized that the only way to beef is through rap. So we had a Twitter rap battle. And if you missed it, you should go check it out. Uh, I think if you just go to twitter.com slash gamersnexus, scroll down a bit, you'll find the thread. So there were a lot of... A lot, of, a lot of Pac and Biggie references in there, some kill shot references, a lot of fun. Jay joined in too out of, out of nowhere again, as he does. Okay, are you doing LN2? No. So we've got uh, 1,100 people in chat here now. I think it's probably about time to show the bench and then I'll, we can start doing some overclocking. Yes, I know, there's, I know there is fan noise. One person, I, there's some fan noise, lowers the high quality feel. Yes, well, can we show them the bench? <laughs> Um, I can't do anything about the fan noise. I'm so sorry. Uh, this is the best we're going to be able to do because this is a pretty, a pretty hot system once it get, gets going. So can we see this okay? Looks like we can see it decently. Um, the closer I get, the worse it'll be on audio. Sorry, but I'll walk you through it. And Andrew's just inching the camera closer so we can get a shot of it. Give us a second here. Rap Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, okay, so uh, what we have, we have a decent shot of it now. What we have is a lot of fans. 
<laughs> here's, here's what I did. Um, so first of all, for this, we didn't do really anything all that special. I wanted to chill the, uh, the radiator in here. You're going to hear a lot of noise from this thing. Sorry. I wanted to chill the radiator in this bucket or get like an, a, an actual like cooler, like uh, you know something you take for beer or something like that and chill it. But we decided we won't do it for this stream, maybe for the next one if we need it. And what we have is a 360 super fat radiator with three fans on it. We've got a Sunon fan, which is a maglev fan. This is the original supplier for Corsair's ML fans. They might, I think they still are. So that's 3000 RPM. We have two Corsair ML fans next to it. We've got, <laughs> it's just whatever I could find really. Uh, Noctua 140 up on top of the two NV-linked GPUs and that's exhaust. So we, we really need that because back here, here's the problem, I needed more intake because the hybrid mod, which is what we're using, doesn't have direct cooling on the VRM or anything. Well, it doesn't have a heat sink. And I did try to put some heat sinks on there, but gave up on it because mounting a fan to the back and blasting it through the front cools the left half of the VRM on both these cards. It gets some of the memory. And then this fan here in the front, which is mounted to the bench, pushing air that way, uh, hits the rest of the memory. And so actually, hitting everything with a thermal probe, which at this point is impossible because of the amount of fans. I just, you can use an IR gun at this point, it's okay. Because uh, there's not really a, an emiss emissivity issue here. At this point, the memory is cooler than the stock cooler was, even when it's overclocked. So it's like 50 degrees Celsius, which is crazy. It's uh, about, I don't know, 28 over ambient or something like that. So uh, yeah, very good thermals on everything here. And it's just a lot of fans. So three fans there. Two here, one here, so we got six right there. Uh, two more on the radiator for the 2080 Ti Hybrid, which I further modded. I did a shunt mod on it, and I, we probably won't really be able to get a shot of that, but it's just two shunts that are shorted. And then I've got, um, I just did liquid metal on it, so it's not even that big of a shunt mod. And then we have the two VRM fans down there, and we've got an EK, whatever that is, I don't know, Supremacy or something like that. It's like a 2016 block. Threw the EK Supremacy on there, uh, pulled our Intel NUC Hades Canyon mod parts off. So the Hades Canyon acrylic bench has been stripped, which is rather sad because I did like that system a lot. And uh, that's what's left of it. But I'll probably remount the Hades Canyon board in there, just the liquid cooling parts we needed for this. And then the pump, uh, if Andrew shows you the pump, you'll see that it's, um, I just took a block of wood and screwed the pump into that and then clamped that to the table so it doesn't tip over because I had some issues with it being kind of loose. So that's most of the test bench. Um, Verge's setup looks better, yeah. You know, uh, Andrew, I think they're saying stuff about the Verge. Saying the Verge's setup is better. Just, it really just hurts my feelings to see that. I, I, I worked really hard on this and it's just sad, you know, it's just sad to see that is the most awkward way to move a camera I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> speak not of the Verge. I don't know, I think, you know, they're right. You're, they're right, the Verge's setup is better. And I think there's only one way. Can you pass me the tweezers? I need to improve this. Can you just, the tweezers please? Thank you. This, I asked for the tweezers. These, I specifically asked for tweezers. Thank you. Okay, so we got some tweezers. So now, now I think we can compete with The Verge in their setup. I'll just, maybe a little later. So that's the setup. Uh, we've got a, don't you have a camera slider? Yes, how long do you think it is? It's not like 20 feet long. <laughs> um, so the, uh, uh, did you use thermal paste? So we've got a, a couple things for the compound. Uh, let me go, we've got 2,000 people in chat here now, so welcome everyone. We're doing a Rip J, Rip Paul stream. Are you overclocking two NVLink cards? We just showed the setup. I'll walk through it again as we keep going through the stream. Uh, got to walk you through some of the thermal compound we use, uh, power supply, all that, the rest of the setup. But first, the advertiser for the stream is Power Color because I was looking recently and Vega 56 and 64 have really come down in price quite a bit since the mining boom which is great because Vega 56, if you remember, we liked a lot in our reviews, but then it was like gone and you couldn't buy it or it was overpriced. So checking recently, it's actually finally 
back at reasonable price levels. So is the RX 580. We have a link to the RX 580 as part of Power Colors ad with us uh, in the description below. So if you've wanted a mid-range card, the 580 is actually coming down in price quite a bit these days. Back to where it should be, and the deals are pretty good now. They also come with three games, so it's uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey and two of the uh, two lesser-known games. One of them is a space RPG made by Stardock. That actually interested me a bit, but I don't know if I'll have time for it. Uh, but maybe you will, so that's in the link in the description below if you want to check it out. So uh, the rest of the bench, the water block for the CPU is on top of uh, Cryonaut. I use Cryonaut for the paste covering the whole IHS. It is not a direct dye contact. And then under the IHS, we have liquid metals for using Conductonaut, and that is uh, straight to the 7980XE. So the CPU, yes, you're very funny, is a 7980XE, and uh, reviving the old meme now. And I think that covers the CPU side of things. VRM is plenty cool. Um, our modded FE 2080 Ti is using a Be Quiet Silent Loop 280 that just happened to fit. Uh, a Supremacy Evo would also fit that, but I only had one. And then the other card is the EVJXE Ultra, which I have not modded at all, not even a shunt mod. So that's, that's most of the setup. And then there's an AX1600i for the power supply. Memory is G Skill Trident Z3600. We have successfully clocked this stuff pretty high to 4,000. So I went back and used it again. We used it in the Repel TT stream. And then we got a uh, fan controller because there are a lot of fans. Okay. So let me, let me mute that phone. Um, so at this point, I think I need to uh, get a baseline test in here. And the where are your tweezers? We just had our tweezers. All right, so baseline. Here's what I'm going to do. Complete baseline. I'm not even going to overclock anything. What we're doing is a stock test. We like to do these just to see like how far can we how far have we come by the end of the stream. So 7980XE stock, no changes uh, at all. So we're all auto everything, auto clock, auto uh, voltage, everything's auto. And then memory, I'm going to manually set to XMP1. I'm also going to set, I uh, already did this, set the voltage to 1.35 just so there's no weird crashes with it. And we need UEFI mode enabled, which it is, and then hardware monitor. We're just going to max the fans. As well, you know, I'm going to wait on maxing the fans. On no, I'm, I'm definitely going to forget if I wait. So we're going to max the fans out now. God damn it. <laughs> and, uh, and then let's, uh, this, this one does not need, need to be maxed. This is the, what is this? This is the um, VRM fan, the EVGA X299 Dark motherboard uses a VRM fan. So can I set this to auto? I don't know. Let's just set it to like 60. It's a pretty fast fan anyway. All right, so that's all we're doing now. Everything's stock. Let's get a baseline in and then start overclocking. And I need to also get um, J score up here so we can go over this. And I, I'm kind of glancing at uh, chat a little bit. I'll read some of it after we get started on the first task. I see some super chats. Thank you for sending those in. But uh, OK, so let's, let's pull up J's score first so we have an idea of what the target is today. One second. OK, this and this need to be in the same window. And J got a uh, very respectable score. And of course, this is all a friendly thing. We're not actually, not actually uh, mad at J. He did a great job with his RTX content. We're all trying to make something out of a launch that has otherwise disappointed a lot of people. Can you see that OK? OK, so I can't really see the screen anymore. <laughs> but um, so the scores, here, here's what we're doing. We're, I'm not trying to get like world record number one for all, because that's Kane Ben, and that's unachievable. Uh, time Spy Extreme is what I'm looking at. I'm just using the 3D Mark Hall of Fame, not uh, Hardware Bot this time. And uh, for two cards specifically, Jay's up in number one. So big congrats to Jay. Pretty cool that uh, to see someone from the YouTube space get up there. And uh, of course, we, we enjoy going back and forth with Jay and making it a fun competition. And then Time Art, I'm not sure who this is actually, uh, Time Art from Germany in number two with 22080 Ti's as well. So we've got two people with 22080 Ti's. And Jay is at 14,043 points for total Time Spy Extreme sport score. And then Time Art is at 13,341. So that's a pretty significant difference just between those two, which means I'm going to have a, a hell of a climb to get through to get to where Jay is, but I think we can get close or pass him. If we go to Jay's detailed results, 
you can still see that okay. What we'll see is, uh, so there's a score, but for, uh, what am I looking for? Here it is, details. Graphics score. So J for graphics got 14,884. Time Spy Extreme is extremely heavily weighted on graphics. It's predicated on it. So we are going to need to get very close to this or past it in order to, to beat his total score. CPU score contributes a lot, and uh, J is sitting at 10,638. We previously passed this CPU score in our RIP LTT stream. I think we we're 11,000 something, so I'm somewhat confident we can get there again, barring any kind of silicon degradation since that time. Uh, so I'm hoping we can at least leverage our CPU and memory overclocking options to gain any potential difference uh, that we might lose in the graphics score, because J has an extremely high graphics score. So that's, that's what we're looking at. And I think it's time to run a baseline test as well. So let me flip this back around, check on chat and everything. And we'll start a simple baseline benchmark. So chat, someone says, Jay did direct AC cooling. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, literally, I guess. But we'll, we got this. So all right. Um, yeah, I totally uh, recommend you check out Jay's videos if you haven't seen them. It's, it'll be a fun back and forth with them, and we like his content. OK, so very basic, absolute, bare bones, everything. I'm not even going to open precision. It should, let's see, the fan's not spinning. Fans are not spinning right now, which means precision's not doing anything. So all I'm going to do is run Time Spy Extreme. This will give us a complete baseline, and then we'll work up from there. This includes uh, two graphics tests and a CPU test. Graphics test one is very intensive on geometry. It's very geometrically complex. And graphics test two does a lot of stuff that's very intensive on memory. So if we need to gain a couple points, we can try pushing the memory a bit harder to gain some more uh, points in graphics test two and make up some of our potential uh, disadvantages there, if we have any. All right, uh, so while this is hopefully launching, and we'll check on the thermals too, just to make sure all that looks OK, but I'll, I'll do that after a baseline. Uh, oh yeah, and then Paul. Paul, I think, is doing single card. He's at 7435 or something like that. Uh, we might come around to that, but I'm going to focus on uh, this dual card testing today. So um, quick note, while this is doing its first test on the uh, on the store, we have the mod mats in stock now, like properly in stock. So they just got in today, actually, uh, just got here. So that'd be this mod mat that we're working on on top of the workbench. And you can grab one on store.gamersnexus.net if you want to grab it. Anyone who's back ordered it, your orders are going out over the next few days. Anyone who orders today, of course, your order will go out uh, in the same time period, more or less immediately at this point. So they're in stock. Thank you to everyone who supported us by picking those up. We're very proud of the products. Super high quality, uh, build quality, and, and very useful, we think, for things like shorting shunts, because it's got the pinouts right there on it. So we've used that very much. And yeah, someone says, I need a mod map mini. Nicholas says that. Uh, we are working on one. I think the samples came in with this order. I haven't been over to check them out yet. Uh, but I will be, when I go over to autograph some of the mats for people who bought the signed ones, I'll be picking up the, uh, the samples for the medium mod mat. And hopefully they're good, and we can start producing those. Um, and I'll go over the rest of the stuff later. So just wanted to shout that out. We're still going through graphics test one, it looks like. Let me check on, um, I'll check Super Chat first, then check the, the rest of the chat, see what's happening. It's always a mixed bag. <laughs> All right, so Bazinga X, $5. Thank you very much, Bazinga X. Hashtag Rip J, hashtag Rip Paul. All hail Tech Jesus. Not sure how I feel about that, but I very much appreciate the support. Hopefully, I don't let you down. Next one, Alec, $2. Chinese Food Fund, very much appreciated. We, we do like to get food after the stream ends, uh, because this involves standing, which is it's pretty, it's pretty hard, uh, actually. Most of the job is sitting, and this requires muscles that we don't normally need to use. WC Kern, $2. Thank you very much. But what CPU is it? Very funny, WC Kern, thinking that I've forgotten the meme. In fact, I have not. And I do remember, I think it was from Rip LTT when that first started happening, and it's still happening. In fact, I even memorized the name of an obscure Intel CPU because people kept asking, what CPU is it? And that was for the NUC. Uh, so this one, if anyone's actually curious and not just trying to troll me, is the 7980XE, which is Intel's current highest core count uh, HEDT CPU. And we have it clocked to stock. So it's like 2.6 gigahertz right now, uh, base anyway. 
and we'll overclock it shortly closer to five. All right, next question. I'm Rock Fox. Two dollars. What is the CPU? God damn it. Next question. Charles Jones, 199. Can we get a rip verge stream? I don't. I don't really think that's necessary at this point. I th think they got enough of that. Uh, Sergeant Zeta, 555. Just to be different, I guess. What would you look like with only a mus mustache? What is your definition of only in this scenario? Is it, is it like my entire being on this planet is replaced with a single mustache? Because then it would look like a mustache. Next one, Julian uh, Potkonyak, uh, $5. Wear your wireless anti-static bracelet. You're going to short the system, exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Yes, well, uh, as we all know, it could have potentially hundreds of watts running through it, and that's how you measure danger. Um, in all seriousness with this one, I don't know what the power draw is, but we plugged in the stream system under the table to a different circuit in, in another room via extension cord just in case, because I think the CPU will be drawing several hundred watts. It's probably going to be the CPU platform, motherboard, all, all the cooling is definitely going to be over 500 watts for sure. It'll probably be closer to like six, 700. And then the GPUs, I actually am not sure. I haven't tested it, but will be pretty high up there. So split them uh, onto two different circuits. You're a Shrey, CHF420. Let's get those clocks, reference to last stream. Yes, we are definitely going to get those this time, hopefully. Uh, Mustangs by Matt, $20. Thank you very much. I need help cloning my hard drive. I have a two terabyte drive, and I'm cloning it to a four terabyte. I initialize the new drive as GPT. Every time I try to clone, it only clones the two terabyte and locks out the rest of the new drive. Um, have you? Tr so it's paid software, but it might be worth trying to Cronus. We use it. I used to use Clonezilla, and never really had issues with it. It boots into a, a, a Linux like Boot Rescue OS. Well, actually, no, that's not true. Uh, you can get a. Um, I can't remember the name of the, the disk I used to use. Uh, G, G parted though. What? G parted. Yeah, G parted is another one that we've used. Uh, Clonezilla, G parted. Um, there's our baseline score, and uh, Acronis are all worth trying. Acronis we haven't had any issues with. So okay, baseline score. This is zero anything. No overclock. No GPU overclocks. Nothing. So our baseline here. We're starting. This is where, where we're going to reference for the rest of the night to see how far we've come, and hopefully it is somewhere. Uh, our starting score, and I'm going to log it here. So let's see, score, GPU score, CPU score. Let me just take a note of this. So full stock, we're at 11,904. GPU is at 12,995, 12,995. CPU is at 8,069. Oof, that's a bad score. That is so bad. Uh, OK. So for reference, J, J's total score, we're at 11,904 for that with nothing applied. J is at 14,043. Pretty damn good. And that's with his overclocking. So we've got a ways to climb here. And then for graphic score, we're at uh, 12, we're about 13,000, where he was at 14,884. And our CPU score is at 8,000, and he's at 10,638. So that's, that's what we have to beat here. Score to beat. Score to beat tonight. The number to remember is 14,043, I think. And uh, I guess at this point we can do a quick um, baseline overclock on the CPU just to get that up to speed because our CPU is really dragging us down here. So let's start with that and then we'll move on to the GPUs next. And I will check chat while I hit delete a whole bunch. Uh, okay. And it looks like some people in chat, if anyone's uh, you know, an expert, you do a lot of drive cloning, Mustangs by Matt could use some advice on good software for drive cloning. I gave a couple, but if you have better ones than me, certainly share them. We, we do enough cloning to clone systems for testing, but it's not like I do it all day. OK, so uh, let's, let's get this going here. Let's do a uh, per core overclock. I'm going to set it to 40. Let's just start at 46, I think. So that'll give us 4.6 gigahertz, and then uh, we can probably push mesh. And I, I'm going to push this higher in a bit, too. So let's get rid of the AVX offset, turn that to 0. If you don't know what AVX offset is, it negatively offsets the clock. So if it's 46 and we have a, an offset of 3, 
It'll drag the clock down to 4.3 gigahertz when AVX workloads are applied. And Time Spy Extreme does actually use AVX uh, in some of its tests. So this is actually a, a relevant thing. Uh, another example would be Prime95 uses AVX, or at least versions past 26.6 do. Let's set mesh ratio to just 30 for now. Push that more later. And then uh, mesh, by the way, is a big deal for these HEDT platforms. That really needs to be overclocked to get anywhere. Uh, we have extreme voltage modes. Let's put, put that to on. Yes, we know it can destroy everything. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to set VIN to 1.95. And then vCore, uh, we don't actually need 1.3 here. But I'm going to, damn it, <laughs> I'm going to put it to 1.3 because I'm, I'm not going to have to mess with it for the rest of the night for the most part if it's there. So that'll just make things easier for us. And the, the cooling can handle it. So we'll just leave it at 1.3. It'll work. Uh, no one wants to watch like an hour of me fine-tuning the voltage. So uh, vMesh, let's override that as well. We'll set vMesh to 1.35. We could probably get away with 1.3, but I'm going to be increasing mesh soon, so might as well just jump the gun on that. Uh, system agent voltage for, or actually, if you droop, let's uh, disable this. And then system agent voltage, this is what helps with uh, st stabilizing the IMC. So that would be the integrated memory controller. If you start pushing memory overclocks, uh, it, it definitely helps to increase system agent. You have to be very careful with this number. Like, if you start pushing 1.3, 1.4, the IMC will degrade over time. It could be a matter of months, could be a year, but eventually it won't be able to hold the same memory clocks at the same low voltages uh, if you just blast the voltage unnecessarily. Or even, even if you can, like, it might be worth stepping down your frequency to lessen the strain from SA. Uh, I.O. voltage, we're going to set to 1.2 as well. I'm going overkill on most things right now, but not that overkill. This isn't crazy. So just enough to make things go smoothly here. Um, uncore offset, we're going to do 500. And that's millivolts, not volts. And then that should be good for all of these settings. So we're going to leave BCLK alone. So we've got a 4.6 gigahertz clock, 30 on the mesh. That'll be increased later. I'm leaving XMP on profile one, and we'll do memory overclocking towards the end. It's the most boring part, uh, but it does get a lot of gains. And then 1.35 for a stable dim voltage. We can increase that a lot later. So I think the rest, let's turn off C states. Shouldn't really matter, but just in case, I think the rest should be good to go. Boot drives UEFI. Our fans should be maxed out. Yes, they are, except for the VRM fan, but that's fine. So, OK, let's save that and run another uh, just a CPU test and see how that improves our scores. Get a baseline. It's yelling at me for some reason. I've, I've forgotten to do something, I think. So what's, uh, what's chat up to? I'm looking at normal chat now. We'll, we'll put super chat on hold. Wow, it's so quiet with all the uh, when it reboots. Paul owns Paul's hardware. That is accurate, someone says. Uh, okay, so it did not like one of the settings I did. I might have mistyped something. Let's just excuse the fan noise for a second. Let me hit that safe boot button. So some boards, like this EVGA one, a lot of ASUS ones, have uh, a red button on them. That's a safe boot, which is really nice to have because it'll keep all the settings and let you get back in without uh, blowing them away. So I think I must have uh, missed something or mistyped something. All right. Did you source a Fantex Evolve X? Yes. We have one on the way, actually. Uh, a viewer sent one along. So that's going, I don't know when, I think we get that in a couple days, probably. So we'll have that soon. We'll be reviewing the Evolve X. It's been a while since we reviewed a Fantex case. A lot of you really wanted us to review this one. So we do have one on the way. And thank you again to the reviewer who sent, or the, uh, not the reviewer, the viewer who sent one along for us to borrow. All right, there we go. So F12 under setup. Let's see what I missed. And what's chat saying? I was about to go to bed, but then I saw Gamers Nexus is challenging The Verge in OC. No, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> I don't think that's really, I don't think we need to do that. That's just unnecessary. <laughs> All right, so I did something here where I, I must have missed a number or something. Uh, 30 mesh ratio. Extreme voltage enabled, yes. No, not 14 volts. That would be very bad. 1.95. That's for VIN, right? Yes. V core override, 1.3. Okay, be a bit more careful what I'm typing this time, just in case. 
The mesh, 1.35 is more than enough. Um, v droop off, VSA 1.2, VIO 1.2, uncore offset 500. Okay, all of that's good. And then definitely good, I think. CP VIN 1.95, yes, correct, 1.3. Okay, that is all correct. And then memory should be XMP 1.35, that should be okay. C states off. And then we need hardware info, or hardware monitor rather. 100, 100, uh, 80. And that sh should do it. Oh, you know what? I think I need to. Okay, UFI is on. Cool. Okay, that should be bootable. All right. Why raise SA and IO when you're running XMP? Because I'm going to be raising the memory clock shortly. And I want to just get it all out of the way now so that I don't have to interrupt the stream to reboot a whole bunch just to change a few voltage points when I already know. I need to increase those in a, mo in a couple minutes anyway. All right. Looks like it's booting this time. That's good. So let me get a couple super chat questions. Actually, you know what? Let me check back on chat for a second. Uh, overclock it in a cold storage room. No. <laughs> I was going to put the CPU radiator, actually, and the GPU on in an ice, a literal ice bucket, but we decided to hold that for now and maybe do that next time. Fire extinguisher ready, Steve. Just a small one, yeah, uh, just, just in case. All right, um, so all I'm going to do, again, get a baseline, only CPU clocks this time, or CPU testing, not graphics, not going to bother. And then we'll start with a GPU overclock as well. So let's do a quick uh, let's see, CPU only test. Got to do the magic trick of clicking out and back into time spy, otherwise everything breaks. So that's running. We'll check, uh, check thermals in a bit. And... Yo, when are you doing the fan art stream? Not sure yet. We have enough where uh, we're going to do like another fan mail segment and open stuff, you know, for that, that you all sent in. And then we're going to do a separate one of probably making like the actual uh, CPU art. We have some ideas for it. Ice bucket challenge with a $30,000 rig. <laughs> I mean, it'd be really cold for a, a nanosecond. All right, so that's running. Check some super chats. So we last left off with Mustangs by Matt. Next one, Gabriel, $1.70. Thank you very much, Gabriel. Bazinga X, Steve, where is your Swiss Army knife? I don't have one, and therefore I'm unqualified to build computers. Corey Thomas, $5. Thank you very much. No message. Uh, Oyvind Munkibi, uh, $20, Norwegian. Making a content piece on the NVIDIA scanner. Yes, we will be doing that. I, I have some ideas for it. I'm, I won't reveal them just yet, but... Uh, we're definitely going to be doing that. It's just, I don't know. So here's the problem. Um, whenever these new components come out, doesn't matter what it is, we try to spend like a week of just making content on that thing while everyone cares about it, do as much research as we can while people are making buying decisions. So hopefully we can have helpful content out there before you buy stuff. And then obviously people get really sick of that content. So now we're at a point where I'm going to have to start like publishing other stuff that's not GPUs. We'll do those OC scanner stuff and some other things. But uh, I do want to publish some like some non-GPU content pieces. We have some really good ones coming up in the next few days. Uh, Dalton P, five dollars. What percent difference in 3D Mark between the 7980XE and 2990WX? I'm actually not sure. Uh, I does I don't know. It's maybe someone in chat can tell us. I haven't read any of the 2990 reviews, or at least not since launch. But does it run 3D Mark with all cores enabled? I'm not sure. Um, either way, it's not on the top of the the Hall of Fame, so I don't... The problem with 3D Mark is it's extremely core intensive to an extent, and then it really wants frequency, so it wants everything, whereas most games kind of stop at like four to eight cores or threads. CPU score, okay. So let's just, uh, let's just update everyone here. It's, that's not even visible, is it? Um, that's the number you'd be trying to show, but it's probably too small. So that number is... You know what, I should change this to... Um, probably to 1080p, so it's more legible. Uh, that number, there we go, is, and this will still run at 1440 or whatever time Spike Extreme runs at, just in a wrong, wrong resolution for the monitor. Uh, 10,737. So to give you an idea of, of the growth here, J's score is, 
Let's see, Jay's CB score is 10,638. This is the first overclock I've done here, and we're at 10,737. So what we're at right now is just 4.6 gigahertz. I know there's more power in there. We've got a 30 mesh. We have XMP, 3,600 megahertz on uh, like a CL16 or 17 or something. Not great, really. So now our biggest deficit is graphic score. And uh, then we need to do some more CPU overclocking. So let's start with the graphic score, because I know that's our weakest point at this moment. To catch his 14,000 total score, we need to increase the graphics. So let's just do an offset of, I have a, a secret weapon here as well, but we'll talk about that later. Let's do just max power target. So we're going to do the stock power target. And there's a reason I'm using that word. We'll talk about that in a bit. Actually, towards the end of the stream, we'll talk about why 130% is stock and not the rest of this slider. So stock max power target on the XE Ultra is 130%. It's a reference PCB with a higher power target. Clocks, memory I already know is stable at 1,000 uh, offset. And core, I think it should be stable at 200, but let's start at, at 180 and just leave it there. And then for the, you know what, let's just run a test like that. I'm just, I'm curious how, what, what happens if we just only overclock the primary card and leave the secondary one alone, see what kind of score we end up with for graphics. So let's do a full pass of this just to get our new baseline. See if we can gain some ground on evil J's two cents, full name, JT cents. Do you plan on making these overclocking streams regular thing? I don't know, when there's new stuff, definitely. Like um, when new CPUs come out or new GPUs, definitely. Okay, so. <sighs> uh, okay, so I'm just reading chat. Snowflake would sabotage the whole thing because she is the AMD analyst. That's true. She would definitely sabotage streaming systems because they are all open air and very vulnerable to cats jumping on them. Have you seen the fans on this thing? Uh, so right now it's in a, you can see it's scaled down, but it's not going to affect the score. It's just because I've changed the monitor resolution. It's still running at the full resolution benchmark. It's just tiny because the scaler is all screwy. We can set it back up to 4K natively once we do the final test just for safety. All right. So uh, does that mean you did the shunt mod? If you mean the secret weapon thing, that's not, no, that's not what I was referring to. I did do a shunt mod, though, on one card, not both. So our EVGA, our XC Ultra we have is a crazy good overclocker. The, the chip is just good, like Silicon Lottery 1 on that one. The Founders Edition card, not so great. It's fine, but it's disappointing by comparison, and it's something like, I don't know. I think it does like a 160 offset and then 850 for memory. Memory is the big limiter on that one. It's only 850. Uh, whereas the EVGA card we have, which is a reference board, does 1,000 on the memory, 1,005. So um, yeah, I, had, I did the shunt mod on the Founders Edition card because I was very disappointed in its capabilities. And that should help us out a bit. All right. <laughs> OK, so I, what is a? What's, what's chat thinking here? So we've got Jay at, here's what I want to know. Jay's at 14,043 for total score. And he is followed by Time Art and then Slinky PC, who's using two GV100s. So do you, do you have faith in us, chat? It's not your question. You can say no. It's OK. Uh, I'll have the moderators kick you. But you can say no if you want. <laughs> and, uh, let me know. Do you think we can beat Jay's score? That's what I, I want to see what your genuine thoughts are. Someone says The Verge will beat us, which is, is actually the, genuinely the most hurtful thing I've ever read in my life. So that's just really, I hope you're proud of yourself. So we've got, to get, we've got a, a mix, mix of yes and no. If you're saying no and you mean it, tell me why. Why do you think Jay's setup is superior? Uh, is it the air conditioning thing? Is that it? Is that all it comes down to? <laughs> I have faith. OK, well, thank you very much. <laughs> We've got a ways to go. We, I think we can at least get close. Uh, OK. Someone says no one is better. And while I appreciate it, you are so wrong. Um, if, if you like this kind of stuff and you want to see more of it, I'm getting better at it really slowly. But uh, the people I learn from are great to watch. So if you really like overclocking, you're interested in it, uh, I would highly encourage you to check out Dare Bauer. 
on YouTube. He is a professional overclocker. You can check out Buildzoid. He does collaborative work with us on this channel for PCV analysis videos. And uh, of course, Kingpin doesn't really post to YouTube, but he does post scores. So you can follow him on the 3D Mark Hall of Fame. There are plenty of others too, but those are the, the two main guys I follow are Buildzoid and, and Der Bauer, if you want to check some out. But we are doing some more as well, just not quite as competently. <laughs> All right, your setup is more, quote, just buy it. I mean, yeah, it's. That's, yeah, I talked about this with the Titan V stuff. You can kind of buy your way to the top these days. I, I re would really like to see price divisions come into play for 3D Marks Hall of Fame or for Hardware Bot. So you can have like a division of like, um, I don't know, setups under $1,500, setups under $1,000. That'd be pretty cool. So then everyone can join in. And if you do want to join in and do some of your own overclocking, compare the scores just to see how crazy like 22080 Ti's are versus your setup. You can, it's free. Uh, we're not sponsored by them or anything. I just really like 3D Mark, and they're good developers. They, they do good work, so you can check it out if you want to follow along at home. And we only got one camera view. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's mobile. Like, Andrew's manning it when we show stuff, but uh, we don't do live capture of the bench system because it crashes from BSODs and stuff like that. It's from overclocking all the time. The scaler's all screwy because I, I shrunk it for, for the camera. Uh, so we don't do a live feed from this because it just is really, it's problematic. It's not worth it. So 12,956. So uh, just to recap everyone, we currently are on a 4.6 gigahertz OC on the 7980 XE. This is pretty low. I can get it higher. Uh, so the score we started with baseline was 11,904. If those numbers don't mean a lot to you, you can kind of just split into percentages and look at it that way. Going from 11,900 to, to gaining 1,000 points is actually a lot in Time Spy. Time Spy Extreme is, is really intensive. Um, it is heavily predicated on the graphic score. So the graphic score matters the most for getting this total number up with Time Spy Extreme. And the CPU score is also important, but not nearly as important. So uh, CPU score 10,757. We started with 8069. So 10,757 is the new score. I'm just taking a note of all this. And we have a GPU score of 13441. We have a, a, a total score of 12956. OK, so for comparison, Jay is at 14,043 for his total score. So Jay, uh, you know, 14,043 is pretty good. I'll give it to you. I, I got to give you that. Give you some respect. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hand you some respect right now, Jay. Feel free to take it. Go ahead and take your time. But I'm going to take that back from you as soon as we beat your score. But you can have the respects for now. And I would like, if you, know, if, if you, wanna, if you wanna show Jay your appreciation or, or how sad you will be when we take it back from him, feel free to press F for respects for Jay. Uh, or as we crash the system as we continue to overclock. So that's what we got with one card overclocked. Let's just, and that's all stock power, not playing any games here. Uh, this one is the shunt modded card, so I'm going to push this just to 150 core. I think it can go a bit further, but I'm not sure exactly how much. And 800 memory, I think it can do 850. Let's start there, though, just to minimize crashing for right now. And we're only going to do a graphics test for this one so that we don't have to sit through for the whole thing. Just make sure it doesn't freak out. Okay. So let's, uh, let's let that go, see how that does. And, and for the end here, when we do the final testing, I'll set it back to 4K native just to make sure there's no score screwery from uh, changing the resolution. I, I, as I said, made it 1080p just so chat can see it easier. Secret weapon is delid and liquid metal. Actually, no, but the CPU is delitted and it does have liquid metal. It's just not secret. <laughs> so you're giving J an F, but you're taking it back later. <laughs> Brutal, someone says. 4K native, 200 scaling. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Whatever. Uh, all right. Jay is West Coast. Steve is the only one we have on the East Coast. Rock on. Rip Jay. Rip Paul. That's damn right. We're going to represent the East Side, even though when I started the disraps with Paul, I was quoting Pac and he was quoting Biggie, but whatever. Details. All right. RTX AB review is coming soon. Yeah. So we've been waiting on BIOS updates. Um, the, the problem, someone's got a question about shunt mods, I'll get to it. The problem with th these launches is that the cards, like the BIOS is changing almost daily. It's mostly finalized now, but
but the reviewer samples started shipping around or just before the retail samples did. And so we have to update the BIOS on everything, otherwise it's not representative of what you're buying. So that has delayed us a bit. Uh, as for the question, someone's saying, did you, you, Steve, where are your feet? On the ground, where are yours? Uh, someone was asking about liquid metal for shunt modding. So I know it's a question. Um, here's the thing. I benchmark stuff, and then I clean it off. So the, the concern is uh, Lewis Rossman did a video a while ago where someone sent in a Titan XP or something that had a shunt resistor falling off because they had modded it with liquid metal, and the gallium or the indium was eating through the solder and caused a problem. So I'm aware of that, but if you don't use an absurd amount of liquid metal like on the solder joints, it should be okay. I'm not going to guarantee it. Uh, the best way to do this is to piggyback another shunt resistor on it. But I, don't, I, I have liquid metal, and I don't care about the card's like, uh, future prospects because I'm going to clean it off as soon as the stream's done. So it actually doesn't really matter for our use case. If you want to do a long-term shunt mod, you should probably piggyback another shunt resistor off of it, like solder one on. I don't know if you should use like 3 milliohm or what. But I think their Bauer and Buildzoid, Buildzoid definitely, uh, his channel is actually hardcore overclocking. You should check it out. Buildzoid posted, I think, a video about a shunt resistor piggyback mod for these cards or something. That's the best way to do it. I just did it the quickest way. So, uh, all right. Steve has no feet confirmed. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, so for the super chat, let me get back to a couple of these. Oh, you know what I, sh I, should, uh, I should mention first? The beer glasses came back into stock during the last stream, so they got weather delayed a bit, but they're shipping either today or tomorrow. Uh, so if you want one, you can grab one on store.gamersnexus.net. It's got, it's got the gold rim on it and a cobalt blue glass, and uh, it's, it's, I think it's pretty unique. It has the teardown logo on it. So if you missed the foil shirt, which is back there forever now because there are no more left other than uh, the ones that I'm wearing, the ones that you all bought, if you wanted that logo, it is on the beer glasses and some of our other shirts. But a lot of the shirts are out of stock right now. Uh, I think we have, we have a good amount of inventory of these Graph logo shirts, though. So the one I'm wearing today is on store.gamersnexus.net. The Graph logo, by the way, if you don't know the story behind it, the three bars are just from the, uh, the charts we make. So it's like the same colors as the charts we make. That's the whole, it's average 1% and 0.1% lows. That's the secret behind the shirt. So for graphic score, we got 14778. This is going faster than I expected. Um, where was J? 14778 is what we got. Where is J? J is 14884. Damn. Well, that's quick. OK, we need to push the CPU to make sure we can actually beat his total score, though. So right now, we're close. J's got about 100 points on us here. The problem is those 100 points are weighted a lot more than our CPU uh, what do we have? We have about a 100-point lead on him in CPU, but his graphics score is weighted way more heavily. So that is a, a problem for us. Um, but I do have some more left in the tank, and we can push some more. So uh, let's, I'm going to take a note of the score here and figure out what we're going to do next. Let me check the uh, super chats and chat and everything as well, and then we can get back to some overclocking, so CPU overclocking especially. All right, so Super Chat, we had a question from, keep scrolling up, damn it, <laughs> we had a question from someone, uh, I think the name was Mohan, Mohan, $5, 1440p, 100 hertz, ultra wide monitor, currently have a GTX 960, what card do you recommend? Not interested in ultra max settings, just want solid performance per dollar uh, and frame rate. So, ultra wide, 1440p, that's, um, what is that, 33? 3440 by 1440p, or by 1440, I think that's the resolution. Uh, so if you currently have a 960, you can upgrade a lot. Honestly, the 10 series is pretty affordable right now, and the 20 series left a lot to be desired, as I, I think chat would agree with that. So, man, if you can find a 1070 for a decent price, three, 400 bucks, then that's, well, yeah, that's probably a good way to go. 1070 Ti is a good card as well. We like that one almost more than the 1080 in a lot of instances. And uh, yeah, those, those two cards at the price today are good. And we'll be fine if you don't need ultra max crazy s graphics and you don't need like 140 FPS. If you're trying to hit 100, probably push towards the higher end. But uh, 1070 Ti is a good choice, middle ground that's affordable, depending on your budget. 
Uh, okay, a couple more. Post-apocalyptic Peter, $2. If Buildzoid had Kingpin's budget, would he take the crown? That's a good question. I got a, I don't know, that's a tough one. Kingpin's, if you missed it, his Roboclocker is crazy. We have a video of it on our channel. So if you search the channel, I think for Roboclocker, you'll find it. It's like basically a closed loop cooler for liquid nitrogen. It has two, what is it, like 180 liter tanks on either side or something like that with liquid nitrogen. One pumps it in, the other one pumps it out, and if it recondenses, cool, they can reuse it. So that's pretty hard to beat. But I believe, I believe in Buildzoid and his crazy zombie power mods that he does. It'd be a good fight. I, I, think, uh, I think Buildzoid, with enough budget, could do it. It is hard to beat a guy who's employed by EVGA, though. Method Method, $5. Interested in doing a deep dive into how to overclock more than just voltage and multiplier. I think I have more headroom, but not sure what to adjust. Let's just reboot into, um, into BIOS, and I'll show you a couple options. So for GPUs, there's really not a ton you can do for NVIDIA, but for CPUs, there's a lot you can do, especially on an HEDT platform like the one we're working with today. And uh, what is, uh, let's see. <laughs> Jacob from EVGA just messaged me and said, get Kingpin in the live stream, they say. I'm working on it. So I guess those of you who have who have been posting that you want Kingpin in the stream. It sounds like we might be able to make that happen. I don't think Roboclocker's coming, though. I don't know. Jacob, is Roboclocker coming? Does that require, like, an extra plane ticket? Um, so you want a, a deep dive. I'm not going to give you a deep dive on overclocking. I'm not really, I don't think I'm fully qualified for that. But so for an HED2 platform, I'll give you some pointers. Core, of course, is important, but it's not everything. And in what we're doing here today, it actually just only adjusting core wouldn't get us anywhere. So uh, things to consider, you can do an all core. Overclock is the easiest, the most stable. If you feel like it, you can kind of more or less bin the cores where you, let's say you know that 40, let's say, you know, 46 is stable, but not 47, for example. You could set 46 for everything, and then maybe just change like four cores to 47 and see is that stable, and you just keep uh, doing that until you find the, the higher clocking cores and, uh, and set those a bit higher. Now, that's a huge pain in the ass, not necessarily worth it. Mesh ratio on HEDT is really worth overclocking, and uncore uh, on the, your standard desktop platforms would be what you want to look for. So mesh ratio, for Intel anyway, mesh ratio is, uh, is a huge sleeper impact on OC results. If we set this to auto or like 28 or something, the score will be a significantly different than if we put it to 30. And it's really not hard to get to 30. We can even get to 33 here. And so if you feel like you've capped out on your core, then definitely on HEDT, mesh is a good place to look. Uncore is a good place to look. A uh, good sort of rule of thumb for like an 8086K or something, 8700K, would be to keep your uncore maybe three or four ticks below your core offset. Uh, at a baseline and then increase it as much as you're able to. Other options, let's say you're going more practical for your overclock and you have issues with like Blender. Say you're a Blender user, uh, but you also play games. Most games don't use AVX, so you're not going to run into AVX stability issues, but Blender does. So if you're rendering stuff and your overclock isn't stable in that application, you can set an AVX offset. That's a good trick as well for a practical use case, for not, not for one we're doing today. Uh, BCLK. This is something you can do a little bit on AMD and Intel. So you can t push it like 101, 102, 101.5, stuff like that. And that will increase the speed of pretty much everything in the system by just a little bit. So uh, the memory is a product of the base clock and the memory multiplier. So uh, if you increase the base clock without changing memory, it'll still increase the memory speed. If you increase the base clock, I mean, I can just demo it for you. I think this BIOS auto updates maybe. Um, not sure, but if you increase base clock, it'll multiply by 46 in this case. Uh, so instead of 100, it'll be 101. So that's a good trick to use. You can use, um, let's see, memory overclocking is really difficult, but if you have the patience for it, the voltages you want to look at. Memory voltage is, is extremely resilient. You can push like 1.5 volts really without any issue on Intel or AMD, maybe 1.4, but uh, 1.5 is, is generally safe on Intel and AMD. We actually push like 1.8, 1.85 on these. The sticks can take it for sure. It's just a question of how long the IMC can take it. So 1.5 is a, a better bet there.
for Intel platforms. And then uh, 1.2 SA on this platform is unnecessary for what we're doing right now. But if you have stability issues with IMC and uh, with the IMC for memory overclocking, the voltage you looked at is, is SA and memory voltage. And you can look at uncore voltage for other stuff. Hopefully that gives you some ideas. That was a long super chat answer, but we need to be here anyway. So um, let's just go ahead and set this to 47 and see if it's stable. I think it should be. We can push it a bit more later. Uh, I want to increase the mesh ratio as well, but I'm going to wait on that until we see how this 47X does. Scarlet Tech 499, any progress with the thermal pad testing? Yes, so I was working on it with the ICX cards for the last generation, the 10 series, but I think at this point I'm going to wait for EVGA to send us their new ICX cards because the cool thing with RTX is it runs really hot, and for thermal pad testing, if you want like an exciting result, you need something really hot to exaggerate those differences because the, the lower end the card, or the, not even lower end, 10 ATI is still high end, but the lower heat output on the card, the less exaggerated the differences will be. So uh, it'll be a scenario where I think a lot of the time we'll say the thermal pads are pretty much the same for the low end cards, but for high end cards, I want to know, does it actually really start to matter if you use like Fuji Poly or something? So yes, it is still on my calendar. Um, I am waiting for sampling at this point of ICX, and I think EVGA's got at least one person watching, so maybe they'll see this. Uh, EVGA, by the way, if you were wondering about Kingpin coming on the stream, EVGA says Roboclocker needs an extra first class ticket. It's basically a person at this point. It's not even really fair that Kingpin puts his name on the scores. It's, it's more, or less, uh, more or less the first fully autonomous entity on the planet. Okay, so let's do a CPU test just to see if those changes worked. And while that's running, like I said, if you go to store.gamersnexus.net, we've restocked a lot of the stuff. Shirts, we have limited stock on some of them, but graph logos there. Uh, and then we've got the mod mats are in stock and shipping now. So they're finally back in. We have to order them in, in batches because we're not a, a massive like manufacturing company. So order them in batches based on demand and obviously use that money to order the next batch. So those are back in stock. And then I'll also mention this while we get that test running. If you haven't seen these, this is our uh, teardown crystal. So you open up OBS so I can see what's going on on stream. That's the box comes in. I don't believe in unboxings unless it's my own product. <laughs> so the teardown crystals are pretty sweet. They come with an LED base as well. And it's, uh, you get the right orientation here. Can you get a shot of that and show the detail or do you need more light? So I think we need some more light. So this thing's pretty cool. The level of detail is, is good on it. Let's drop the light right on the test bench. I think that'd be good. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we have some shots of it elsewhere, but it's a three-dimensional laser etch thing. So you can see like it's got PCB, there you go. Got PCB components in there. So it has like, I really like this product that we have. Uh, it's got screws. So you can see screws back here sticking out. Um, it has like, VRMs on there. I, I mean, if you were to like replicate it and try and make it on a PCB, I don't think it'd work. But uh, it's got VRMs, it's got like blower fans, stuff like that. So anyway, that's on the store if you want to pick it up. But um, so let's get back to chat, super chat, all that stuff, and move the light back to where it probably should be. I think our CPU test just finished. Let's see if we have any chance of beating Jay's total score of fourteen thousand. What is it? Forty-three. So CPU, ooh, that's looking good. We're at 10,908 on the CPU, which I think puts us past J. So I didn't even change um, 10,908, what is that, with 4.7? I didn't even change the mesh yet. What is J's score? So J for CPU, and we need to pick this up to gain uh, graphics, uh, to, to make up for graphics differentials. Jay's at 10,638. This isn't enough. So we need to push it a bit more. Let's, um, let's go ahead and do that. Let's, let's push this CPU a bit more, and then we'll start overclocking the GPU harder. And I still have a secret weapon in there. So I haven't told anyone what it is yet. But there is, in fact, a secret weapon that I can use for the GPU overclocking. However, I want to hold it. Is that high enough? Is that another shot? <laughs> I want to hold it uh, because when I beat Jay's score, I would like to be able to do it without using 
uh, special access, like any kind of extras. So what we are going to do is just push the CPU as much as we can, and then push the GPU as much as we can out of the box. The only mods we've done to the GPU is the Founders Edition card. <laughs> I say only. It's got a liquid cooler on it, let's be fair. But he has a liquid cooler on one of his, too. His looks way better and more professional. But uh, the only other mod we've done is a shunt resistor mod, where we've shorted the shunts. And let's, um, let's get the CPU up to make up some of our difference here. So I need a, let's do mesh. Let's push that up to, let's try 32. Let's see what that does for our score. That'll impact GPU score a bit too. So that, that should be a good starting point. And then you know what, memory, it's probably time to start bumping that. So let's push this to 1.5, see if it's stable. I should really only change one of these at a time, but whatever. Uh, and let's change this to 4,000 megahertz. We'll come back for timings later. Let's try that. 4,000 megahertz, 1.5 volts. Uh, I might need to push SA. I don't think so, though. So that should get us secret weapon equals AC unit, Intel chiller. Is Intel's chiller like even legal? Like, <laughs> they have some pretty crazy chiller for theirs, for that 28 core. Um, they shunted the shorts. No, did I say that? No, we did not. We shorted the shunts. And one other person. Oh my god, you got RGB, secret weapon. That's actually what it was. You've, you've correctly guessed it. All right. Um, so let's see if it is stable for this one. Super Chats. We had one from Julian who said, uh, $2 at League of Legends greater than 3D Mark. I'm not going to benchmark this with League of Legends. Thank you very much. Peter, uh, Rost Kiar, 50 DKK. Finding it hard to find issue info on mesh overclocking. Do you have a video explaining why and how to do it right? Hashtag smash the world record. I would love to do that uh, while we still can before it becomes impossible when Ken Kane Pen gets to the top and it's it's never again reclaimable. But um, there should be info on like overclockers, overclockers, mesh overclocking. That's an HEDT thing. So if you have like a high-end Intel platform uh, as opposed to I don't know, 8700K, which is still high end, but relatively speaking, uh, that would be where that applies. It does not apply to like your 8700K or something like that. Look for Uncore for those. So I see some discussion of this on overclock.net. There's a Skylake X overclocking guide. I haven't read through it all, so I, I can't vouch for it, but uh, there's a Skylake X overclocking guide that goes over mesh overclocking. That might help you out on overclock.net. They have some good guides over there that are forum uh, regulated. All right, so we need to start a test. I need to read Super Chats. Uh, let's do CPU. So no graphics again. We're just going to see, did that, that, is, is that frequency on the memory and the mesh going to hold for the rest of this? I, I don't know if it will. Uh, OK. Super Chats. So we got uh, Javadon123, $5. Do you plan on making these? Oh, I got that one. These overclocking streams are regular thing. So like I said earlier, whenever there's a new product, yeah, definitely, uh, for sure, when, it, when there's a new product. Or if I can get, like, I don't know, Der Bauer, Kingpin, Buildzoid, uh, if we can get any of them out sometime, we'll definitely make that a thing, too. Kane Motley, 20 bucks. Thanks for all you do, Steve. When RTX games become available, I'd love to see 220 ADTIs in SLI and see ray tracing scaling over SLI, like 20 gig rays per second, or, uh, or if it does not at all. That's a great question. I don't know how it stacks, or if it does stack when you have um, when you <laughs> when you have any kind of uh, ray tracing in there. Because uh, find me a game that's like real and out with any kind of RTX in it right now. It's kind of hard. So we have demos, and that's it. Uh, great question, though. I, we are planning to do some deep dives on RTX games as they launch. I just need them to exist first before I can work on them. But great question, great point, anyway for testing. Da Ugh, my screen went black for a second. I don't know why it does this. David, $5. I think you had a message. We'll find out in a moment if ever comes back. Uh, have you noticed the downtrend in views in the weeks you stream? I've seen YouTube videos that hint at it. Actually, no, but that's really hard to judge because, oh, it's not crashing. I thought it was. Um, the problem is there are too many variables. So. I and mean, if we upload worse content, there's going to be lower views anyway. Or if there's a launch, like we streamed last week, views were crazy good, but that's because there was a launch week. So I have no idea. Zeta Alpha, $5. You can do this. I, I hope so. I share your confidence. 
like I said, I gave, I gave Jay some respects earlier. I handed it to him. I think he accepted it. I can't see through his screen. And, uh, or can I? And uh, I expect to take the respects back from him by the end of the stream. So CPU score, 11,144. Of course, all fun with Jay. You should check out his channel if you don't know who he is. I'm sure you do, though. Uh, Jay's two cents if you don't know who I'm talking about. 11,144 on the CPU. What is this? Mesh of 32 or something? Uh, or 33, maybe? So we have climbed quite a bit. Our original CPU score was 8069. And now we're at 11,000. And before that, we were at uh, 10,757. So we're gaining quite a bit. And that is exactly, exactly what we want to see when our GPU overclocks might not be as high as his, but we will find out soon. Um, OK, so now what? Push CPU some more, I guess? I'm going to find the limit on the CPU and then go for GPU overclocking. So like I said, while this is rebooting, actually, you know what? How's, how's chat going? I haven't checked in on the uh, normal chat for a little bit. Is Photoshop the secret weapon? <laughs> That's a good one. It should be. Uh, how is chat doing? <laughs> secret weapon is a voodoo card, I wish. Will you publish this live stream after it ends? Yes. Yes, we will. Here's the problem. Uh, just in case you run into this, we've noticed that streams that are like over two hours will s split initially and then process. So only the last two hours will be available immediately. And I think this might be why Paul and Kyle originally split the stream, but I'm not sure. Um, so it will all be there, but you might have to check back a couple hours after it goes up because the first two hours will be gone or whatever, the first however long it is. Uh, but they will come back. So I'm going to push mesh ratio to 33. I think at this point we're going to start crashing. But let's just go ahead and try that and see if I can get away with it without increasing vMesh, because I'd really like to avoid that. Is the secret weapon private internet access? No, but I guess they just got a free ad. Uh, Peltier is the secret weapon. Nope. Steve, do you have dry ice? No. No, I do not. Um, I did consider it, though. Something I want to do. I think for the next big stream we do for overclocking, probably do an ice bucket. The, the challenge with it is condensation and killing parts. So Bill Zoid from Actually Hardcore Overclocking gave me some advice. He said get some of that artist like gray kneadable eraser and just stick it down all over anywhere under a block. And other, obviously not the CPU itself, but uh, the PCB. And that will help deal with condensation drip. And then wrap all of the tubing, everything that's potentially exposed for condensation, like the fittings, um, with blue shop towel. So I do want to do some sub-ambient, not sub-zero, but sub-ambient testing. And we have the, the office space to do it now. It's just I, you know, I kind of started working on it for this and then realized I need some more materials. I don't want to risk blowing up the board or the CPU because I'm not prepared. So we pushed it off. I think we can still do a rip J, rip Paul stream without it. And uh, actually, you know what, just in case here, I'm going to set the resolution back. I don't think it impacts anything. I'm almost certain it doesn't. But I'm going to just set the resolution back to, for you, an illegible 4K with 100% scaling, because 3D Mark makes us all superstitious, and see if that uh, changes the score, like lowers it at all. But I don't think it should. More likely, we're going to crash, because the I increased VMash without increasing any voltage anywhere. All right, so checked in on chat for a bit. Uh, what is that? What is that? Someone just said Jay posted something. Where'd it go? Where is it? I missed it. I missed your comment. Something about Jay posting a score or something like that. Let me check. Hang on. Ugh, this mouse needs to be plugged in. What's the what's the score? Uh, F5. So this score is still the same. Has he uploaded a new score for dual GPU? No. Did he post one on Twitter or something? Chat, let me know what's going on. Someone said something about Jay posting a score. Maybe it was for a single card. 11767. Is that for a CPU? What is that for? Over and below. Okay, let me just check his Twitter page myself. Because <laughs> people are saying something about Post Malone, which is not <laughs> helping me figure out what his overclock scores are. 
he did post an update to his uh, Post Malone build, though. So what did what he post? I don't, I don't get, I missed it. Whatever it was, I missed it, I guess. 11767 CP score today. Okay, gotcha. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, so anyway, that's running a test. I guess we'll have to push that even higher now if he's posting an 11,700 score. And uh, <laughs> these comments are not at all helpful. Uh, okay, Jack Reitman, $5. Regarding, do we have faith you will beat Jay's score? Can I get an amen? <laughs> uh, we got another one. Uh, two dollars, two in the pink. Get Kingpin in a video equals content. Yes, we will definitely, I mean, it's not even just content. The guy is like the leading expert on GPU overclocks. Okay, 10735, what was our previous score? Do we need to push that higher? Yes, we absolutely do. I need to stabilize some stuff. All right, let's, uh, let's push this up a bit. So if Jay has increased his score, I don't see it live on uh, 3D Marks Hall of Fame yet, but it is slow to update, and we're not even plugged into internet, so ours won't go up there either. But you know what? Let's um, <laughs> let's. Uh, what? I don't understand some of this chat. Does Threadripper do well on 3D Mark? Not as well as like a 7980XE. It's it's just different. It behaves differently. It likes frequency a lot. All right, so time to get real here, I guess. Um, mesh, 1.38. We're good everywhere else. Let's do 33 on the mesh should be good. Let's push 48 here. And memory, we'll leave that the same. I don't want to change too much at once and cause confusing issues. I won't know what's causing the crash. So let's get that going. Apparently Jay's putting up a fight. Is he, He's not streaming though, I don't think, is he? Um, or that score was posted much earlier today, I don't know. All right. Rip lifespan. Eh, who cares? <laughs> it's just overclock. It's not like I'm running it all day. Not running it all day. Okay. So, doubt some more super chats. We got Tim, $5. For a deleted 7900X with liquid metal and a 420 rad, what is a safe 24 7 voltage? I can get 4.9 with V Core 1.35 and 90C in Blender. Is that okay? 90 Celsius. Man, that sounds. I guess that is a pretty high. Uh, Voltage, depending on your case too. Um, so V core, it's more you'll generally run into thermal issues before you run into voltage safety issues. But uh, 1.35 is fine. 90 Celsius is pretty high though. If I would feel more comfortable if that were a bit lower. So I don't know if you resealed your processor. This is a I just replied to an email today from someone who um, who was working on a DLID. And they resealed their processor with JB Weld, which we also used to use, but we stopped because it creates an air gap between the die and the IHS that actually is worse for performance than, than just putting the IHS back on with no seal. If you really want to seal, though, use like a, I don't know, um, Loctite super glue or something like that on just the corners, and that should, uh, that should improve things for you. It, assuming it's a seal issue, like if you're if you sealed it and it was too thick of a seal, like silicone adhesive, that can absolutely increase your temperatures a lot, just like you're saying, even though you're delitted. Uh, so that would be a, a point of consideration for me is redoing the seal. You can um, check your case airflow in general. Uh, what do we want to put for get one thousand on this? One thousand here. Uh, you can, of course, lower your voltage if possible, like try and fine tune it down a bit. 1.35 is fine, it's just I don't like the temperature that high. All right, let's, uh, so let's, let's max these fans. Here's what I'm doing, just because you probably can't see this too well, because I did change the resolution and everything. Uh, fans 100% on the EVGA XE Ultra. Power 130%, which is max for the stock card. 200 offset for the clock. 1,000 for the co for the memory, and then for the modded card we're running, let's put that at 850, not 80, oh God, not 8,500, 850 for the memory on our FE hybrid, and this is our weakest card. It is not a very good overclocker, 
Let's do 160 here, see if that's stable. I think it is. And let's set that to 123. That's the maximum power offset. Fans can stay at 42 because they're not doing anything because it's liquid cooled. And let's do a full pass and see what happens. See how that goes. This will be our, our first full pass in quite some time. So 14,000, oh great, thanks Jacob. Jacob from EVGA has just alerted me to say Vince is watching now. If you don't know who Vince is, uh, this, this is the expression I got from Andrew behind the camera. Vince is uh, AKA Kingpin, Vince Lucido. He's joined us on camera a few times. So he is now here to judge me. <laughs> hey Vince, come out and join us sometime. Come, uh, come kick my ass and overclocking, everyone can learn something. So Vince is, uh, is someone I have great respect for, his overclocking abilities, he's number one always, just like as a global constant in general. Uh, so he, he's, he's apparently tuned in, everyone in chat, feel free to say hi to Kingpin himself. I'm sure, yeah, no pressure, right? <laughs> yeah, yep, that's uh, not accurate. All right, so we're running the 7980XE, what did I put it to? 48, I think it's on 48. Uh, we, this processor I've done before, it's doing a time spike stream pass right now, but I've done testing with the RIP LTT stream, and that one we had issues at about 49x. So we're gonna run into the limitations of this processor pretty soon, I think. Um, okay, so what's, what's chat saying to Vince? They want to know, is RoboClocker watching? I don't know, is it? Is it like deep learning? The, are you like feeding it the stream and telling it deep learn that this is bad, don't do this? Because that would probably be good deep learning information. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, Kingpin, overclocking my 660 Ti while watching the stream. Nice. I'm not him, but that's still pretty cool. That's a, that's a good card to, to work on. Get some extra life out of it. Someone says, wish him a happy birthday. Is it his birthday? I actually, I have no idea. If it is, then I guess we'll do that. Okay, so while this is running, it's on, I think, Graphics Test 2 right now. Let's see if that's stable. Uh, we are currently set up with, you know what? We have a lot more people in the stream. We haven't gone over the components in a little while. Let's do that. So let's go over the components while this is running. Good time to do it anyway. Uh, originally, I was considering using ice, like actual just ice and putting the radiator in it. We're going to have some fan noise in my mic. Sorry, I can't help it. This is blowing. So th this radiator, this fat thermal take radiator is blowing so much air in this direction. Andrew, can we get a, are you able to zoom in on this and like actually see it? So if I'm not in the airflow path, you'll, <laughs> you'll see the ASUS box uh, just slightly moving. And that thing is like, I don't know, 12, 15 feet away. And uh, that is from the air coming out of the 360 thermal take radiator, which is hooked up to our CPU. So it's got a Sunon maglev fan on it at about 3000 RPM. And this is the same supplier that Corsair uses for their own maglev fans, which we have right here. I just only have one of them though. So that's 3000 RPM, pretty fast, loud. Uh, and then we have a fat radiator hooked up to the CPU, of course. EVGA X299 dark board, which is uh, in our experience, wow, that's pretty warm now. In our experience with X299, this is the best overclocking board we've worked with. So that's got two fans on the VRM, which means I don't have to worry about them at all. I don't need another case fan pointed at them. Uh, RAM, G-Skill, Trident Z Black, it's 3600 megahertz for the XMP, I think CL, I don't know, 1617, something like that. And we're running at 4000 megahertz right now. We have uh, a lot of fans, so I zip tied, sorry, these are tweezers, not zip ties. I keep, I keep getting that wrong. Uh, we used we used tweezers, as The Verge has updated us, to tie a, uh, what the heck are these fans called? Gentle Typhoon fan to the back side of the bench. That's blowing air over the left half VRM <laughs> because um, my modded hybrid card, if you didn't see it in the video, the hybrid card has no heat sinks on it anymore, just a closed loop liquid cooler. This be quiet, silent base, silent loop, excuse me, 280. So um, in order to keep the VRM and the memory cool, there are a lot of fans and it's to full credit. I mean, like this isn't the best way to measure, but we don't have emissivity issues because it's a black body on there. That's 31 degrees right now. That mem the hottest memory module is about 31. And when it's running a hard task, it gets to like 50. So we're good on cooling there. 
uh, 140 knock, so I just pulled everything I had. Exhaust here, intake, intake here, going straight onto the card. Uh, we've shorted the shunts on the FE card in the front, liquid mod on it, and AX1600i for the power supply because it uses a lot of power. So um, what's our score here? Oh, shoot. Come back over here. We're going to have to run this again because you weren't pointed at it, I guess. Uh, so the score target and on applied tweezers using Swiss Army Knight. Our, our goal to beat is uh, up until the point that Kingpin decides to stop the fun for all of us, stop being a good sport. The goal to beat was 14,043. And we are at 14,151. Check that out. <laughs> so, uh, Kane, Kane been ready to publish your, his score right after you beat Jay, probably. So I have heard that Jay is still pushing clocks on his CPU. And I don't know if he's sandbagging. I don't know if he's going to submit more scores. But <laughs> uh, we need to keep going. So I, have, I still have the secret weapon. I still have more in the tank. We need to set a higher score. I'm not connected to the internet. You're not going to see this reflected on the scoreboard just yet. But we have to keep going because Jay is still going. His own Twitter feed, or apparently, according to you guys, had a score for a CPU of 11,757. And we're at 11,374. And I don't know if he's increased his graphics score, but his is already higher than ours. We're at 14,789 here, 14,151 total. So a lot of our advantage is made up in the CPU score difference, where it's a secret weapon, a drum of 3M Novec fluid, so $2 from Mac Drew. No, it is not. That would be a good one. Um, so Jay's scores were. Uh, 14,884 for the graphics, and we're at 14,789. So he's got a bit of a, about a 100 point lead on us there, and that is really important in Time Spy Extreme. So I, I have to gain some ground there. CPU score, he's at 10,638, we're at 11,374. That's for his like, most recent score I have. I think he's increased it since then, according to chat. So we gotta push a bit harder here. <laughs> so. Secret weapon is cane pin and chat. I mean, that would be nice, wouldn't it? But that, that wouldn't be fair. Cane pin's got to just crush both of us because uh, he, it's what he does on a Saturday, I guess. All right, so let me type. I should s do a say. One sec. Let me save this. 14151. Uh, okay, so let me type down these scores just so I have them. Where are we even right now? We're at 48x. We have a one, are we still at 1.3 volts? Or are we at 1.34? I think we're at 1.3 volts. 48x, 33x mesh, 1.38. And 4,000 for the memory. Probably still CL16, I think. So some room there. 14, 1, 5, 1. I'm taking a note of the score so I know if we're going backwards when I start changing other things. And 11, 3, 7, 4. Okay, cool. And that is with the native resolution on the monitor as well, just in case and anyone was worried about that. Uh, OK, nice. Well, let's, um, I don't know. Let's, let's do some more, some more bio stuff. And then we'll see if we can play around with the cards a bit more. So as I've been noting throughout the stream, I got to check my messages. I think Jacob just messaged me again. As I've noted, oh. Someone says, oh, damn, Vince's B-Day was yesterday. Well, happy birthday, Vince, if you're still watching. Uh, so, yes, like I was saying during, throughout the stream, we've restocked. The, the mod mats are back in now. If you've wanted one, they're on store.gamersnexus.net. You can pick one up. And um, we've also got the GN Teardown cr Crystals back in there. So those are pretty sweet. We gave a couple of those out as awards. But, you know, if you don't make products and you want to buy your way into having one, <laughs> we let you do that. We don't let the manufacturers do that. Don't get any ideas. Uh, <laughs> but that is on store.gamersnexus.net. We have medium and large. And we also, of course, restocked the beer glasses, which is currently filled with water. <clears throat> All right. I missed the delete button. Sorry. Oh, shoot. <laughs> All right. So. 48x on the core. I don't think we can do too much more than that. We might even be able to hold 1.35 or something on vMesh. I'm going to take this down, 1.36. Let's see if that holds. If, if we get a pool error, we know what that is. And I'll push that back up. Um, so shoot, let's do memory. Let's try like 15, 15, 15, 28, 32, 28. 
1.65. And let's try that. See if that's stable. I need to change some of the other subtimes in there too, actually. Someone has sent me a screenshot of Kingpin saying, ha, 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 in YouTube chat. Is that actually him, or did someone just register a name? Uh, beer glass, currently filled with dot, 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 liquid metal. No, bad. Don't do not, don't do that. Don't fill these with liquid metal, or proceed to drink them. And also, if you have that much liquid metal, you are a very wealthy person. But you should pick up one of these. If you intend to fill a glass with liquid metal, it might as well be ours. Just don't drink it. All right, so uh, we have pushed the memory timings a bit. We've, did I change anything else? I think that's most, uh, yeah, mesh. Change the mesh voltage to be a bit less abusive on it. So we'll see if that kills things. All right, precision. X1 got an update today, actually, or I got an update today, anyway. 130, that's the default power target. And... Max fan speed, of course. Clock, 200. I know it's stable. We might be able to do more. I haven't tried since the rip, or well, it wasn't even a rip Paul stream. Since, since Paul responded to us live in our last stream, I haven't tried to push this further, but maybe. Maybe if we need it, we can. This one, I am fairly confident we're at its limits. Uh, but we could, of course, try to push that if we had to. So let's apply that. OK. Full pass. Here we go. Probably start. Start working towards that secret weapon soon. I don't know if it's actually any good. I'm filling it up a lot for not knowing if it's going to suck. Uh, CPU score was 11767 for J on one GPU. OK. So I don't actually, uh, don't actually know where that is or what CPU he was using. But that's good to know. Very good to know. What thermal paste goes under the GN cube on the light stand? You, uh, you actually don't need thermal paste for it. Our thermal conductivity is just that good. We managed to make a glass cube contacting a plastic LED base. Highly thermally conductive. Secret weapon is dilithium crystals. Uh, OK, what else we got? Super chats. So. Quicker tech, this is at 7.42 p.m. I'm going to try and catch up here. Five bucks, about the price divisions. Have you checked out Hardware Bot uh, and their Team Cup? It's an OC competition with specific hardware. By the way, what CPU are you using? God damn it. It's a 7980XE. Everyone knows what CPU I'm using. Um, the OC competition, I have not checked that out. But that sounds cool, though. I've not checked out their Team Cup. Uh, hey, it hasn't crashed yet. It's also not on the CPU benchmark yet. CX4, $10. Steve, I love your work. Any tips for a custom PC shop or YouTube channel? Thank you for your videos. Keep your Swiss Army knife closed. They come with zip ties. They're called tweezers. Um, any tips? I mean, like, the, the biggest suggestions I can give to, I, I, we were talking about this the other day. I still see GN as a pretty small YouTube channel and outlet overall. But the uh, fact of the matter is it's not small. I would consider it medium now, I guess. But um, I still think of it that way. And I think if you keep that mentality and you keep working on it like it's a small project, then there's a lot of it, it feels more genuine and people really uh, be attracted to that. And then as far as like growing a custom PC shop, I don't know. If you're tr try and find ways you can blend in YouTube with your normal daily functions at your PC shop, like if you're going to build a system for a customer anyway, find a way to create a video out of that on YouTube without slowing down your process. Even if, you know, that might just be like, set up two cameras on tripods or an overhead camera and edit it together later. Try and spend a, a minimum amount of time on it while still generating good content while you start. And then once you start seeing traction, it's time to invest. But obviously don't hamstring your other business uh, to try and get a prospect going. Um, other tips, I don't know. Be very consistent. Make sure everyone knows your upload schedule. Try and have one. Uh, stuff like that. And also work hard. That's probably the biggest one. Uh, OK, any other? There's more Super Chats. I'm just scrolling back up to them. That one was like 7.30 something. Still scrolling. OK, here we go. Shelby uh, Boost says, 
Five dollars. Thank you very much, Steve. Do you think Nvidia is throttling the RTX cards via drivers till time passes and more Pascal over stock cards? I don't think so. Uh, there, there is legitimacy to some of the conspiracy theories around this launch. I think, but that one I, is one that I don't think really holds water. I, Nvidia held drivers from press for a long time, as Linus noted publicly, till like Friday before launch, specifically to tune them and try and get more performance. So this, they would have released them sooner, I think, if, if that were a concern. Um, I think Pascal Overstock will sell on its own regardless of the drivers because it's pretty affordable now and the new cards are very expensive. So I don't think they need to hamstring themselves and like destroy their launch reputation, hurt their brand credibility just to sell Pascal when it's already selling on its own. Uh, so no, I, I would say that's probably not, not uh, one of the conspiracy theories I believe in. NRG underscore two dollars. Thank you very much. NRG, uh, two different cards with two different OCs versus two the same. Is that a question? <laughs> so uh, different OCs if you have the patience for it. This is easy because it's one application. But if you're testing a whole bunch of games, you'll have to find the uh, stablest common denominator, I guess, for each card. And that's a lot of work. So it might be easier to do the same lower overclock instead of two really high overclocks. 14,137. CPU score 11,421. Graphics 14,757. He's still ahead of us in graphics, so we got to push that. Our previous score so this was 14,151. So 137. So that is down, which is kind of within variance, though. And we are down in the graphics score department, but up in the CPU score department. So that is within variance. Let's start, uh, let's start playing around with some more stuff here. So I have not tried this yet. I don't know what's going to happen. We worked with the XOC community pretty closely. And uh, fortunately, the XOC community was able to get us a custom VBIOS. And this card is only supposed to do 130% power target offset for the, uh, the XE Ultra I'm using right here. But we can go up to 154. I'm going to put it to 140. I don't know what kind of damage we're going to cause. So we're going to start at 140. And we'll go past that later. Let's just, let's just do that and nothing else. And just a graphics test uh, to save some time and see what happens. Is this going to get us the points we need to make sure we hold a position uh, over Jay when he submits his allegedly newest scores, according to chat? So that's 140%. Uh, that's I have not changed the clocks at all. We're just going to see if that power increase gives us more headroom to run at a higher clock. So that is the secret weapon. Imagine the coil wine. Someone says, yeah, well, actually, there's no coil wine yet. And by that, I mean, if there is any, there's like 55 decibels of fans to my right. So I can't hear it. That's the solution to coil wine. <laughs> Jay's GPUs were the MSI Trio. Yeah, so we only have. Uh, 2080, only have 2080s from MSI 1 and 12080 from Gigabyte, 2080 FE, and then the TIs, I have three. I've got Founders Edition, which we modded, and I'm using, <laughs> I'm using it for the stupidest reason, uh, XC Ultra, and we have the Asus Strix card, which actually I have really high hopes for, but unfortunately, the Asus Strix card, and this is a, an NVIDIA problem, not an Asus problem, is too tall. So. <laughs> This is the problem with the, not, the, the inflexible bridges. Uh, I could probably modify it to make, like, just loosen the screws and make it all wonky and make it fit, I guess. But the, do I have one? These NVLink bridges are hard bridges. They, they will not conform to different size cards very well. So the Asus card is just tall enough. And both my other two cards are reference size. So it unfortunately did not reach. The MSI card I have is not a TI. So that was no good either. So. Yeah, a bit, bit sad on that because our FE is pretty weak compared to the XE Ultra. I think we kind of won the Silicon Lottery on the XE or lost it on the FE or something. And then the um, Asus card I have, a, I have high hopes for because it's a custom PCB. But the sizing just doesn't line up for NVLink, unfortunately. Once we get more cards in, though, we can probably make it work. Late to the party, did they shunt mod the RTX card? One of them. We shunt modded the weakest of our two cards, the... FE, which is currently a hybrid card. So it's got a liquid cooler on it and it has enough air that the VRMs are, and the, let's check a memory module. Hottest memory module IR reading is about 57 degrees. So it's really good. 
I checked that with thermocouples earlier. It's too hard to sneak them in there now with the fans, but it was it basically validated. We're plus or minus two degrees from the IR reading. So pretty good on the temperatures. But yes, we did shunt mod one card. You should make a custom PCB. No. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. Who has Kane been? Uh, check the 3D Mark Hall of Fame. It's number one. All right. So this is running. Is that, was that CPU? That was GPU 2, I think. Graphics 2. No, was that CPU? Yes. That was, oh, no, we just only did graphics. That's right. So it crashed. So it did not survive that pass. Let's just try it again. Sometimes it works better on the second try. And let's just only do graphics too this time. Save some time if it's unstable there. It would probably be a memory stability issue if so, I think. OK. All right, so see if it, see if it survives. I want a GN designed case. Yeah, I mean, that'd be pretty, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but we don't have any present plans. Shunt mod results in better benchmark scores. Yes, by a couple hundred points. It was not a lot. Uh, it was it was not a lot. Um, it was like three four hundred points. I think I need to put more liquid metal on there to to increase the resistance, but not to a point where it's gonna drop into two D clocks. So that's a problem. And piggybacking like a three milli ohm shunt resistor on it might be a better option or something like that. Uh, okay, so a lot of people in chat hanging out. So we beat Jay's score that I had most recently seen, but apparently he's been posting higher CV scores than his recent submitted score. So that means we need to keep pushing a bit more to try and hold that lead while we can. Uh, and Kane Penn joined earlier for a bit. I don't know if he's still watching, but he will, I'm sure, soon post his own scores to beat ours. At least we're making it interesting for them. <laughs> so, running another test hasn't crashed yet. And uh, like I have been saying, if you go to store.gamersnexus.net, you can pick up one of our GN beer glasses, the cobalt color with the gold rim. They are back in stock and shipping now. They, they were weather delayed for a couple days there, but they're in now. And we're going to have a chime beep in a second, I think. Um, so yeah, uh, and then you can pick up the mod mat, of course, on the store as well, store.gamersnexus.net, uh, for the mod mats. They just got in today, and they are shipping, so if you've been waiting for one, they're here. All right, that passed. So now we just need to, like, to actually get them both to pass. The one that crashed last time did succeed this time. <clears throat> okay, Let's see if they can both pass. We push the power target beyond what is natively supported. <clears throat> Anything else you guys have been doing to get better scores than during the last live stream? Once your cooling is sufficient, the power is maxed, and the shunt mod is done, what more can you do? VBIOS mods. We worked with the XOC community to get a VBIOS, custom VBIOS. Um, it hasn't worked yet, but we'll see. You could do better overclocking than we did last stream. We switched to a 7980XE. X299, that was a big upgrade. Stuff like that. All right. So, super chats. What's, what's in here? Got to scroll up for a bit, I think. <clears throat> so, we got, got the ubiquitous Crush J comments. <laughs> I don't know how long that'll last. He's apparently posting high scores. Oh. I'll get to this one in a moment, I guess. Someone's asked about fan testing. Yes, we are still doing that. I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, I'm trying to scroll up to the latest, to the last question. There it is. Okay, so last question I saw was from Energy. Kenneth Young, $5, asked, when are you collaborating with the Verge's computer expert for his technical expertise? I actually, towards the that video originally going up, I. There we go. Finally got a blue screen. First time all night. Bad pool caller. I'm thinking we need more V mesh potentially. Uh, to answer the question, though, yes. Yeah, so this typically that's going to be a, in in my experience with this bench, going to be a V mesh voltage limitation. Um, I did tweet and say like they're welcome to join us if they 
wanted to or something. But that time has passed as, as the internet has devolved into just making fun of the content. Uh, the next question was, Crack on PC, HK25, Rip J and Rip Paul, is the CPU 28 cores and 5 gigahertz? Nope, sadly not, and there is no secret chiller under the table either. Although I did want to put it under ice, but it would be very public and obvious. Um, let's just try, let's go back up to 1. Point, no, not 8. Not 8 volts. 1.38. I just want it to hold with that power offset. That's all I want. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> the Lee SEK100. Gamers Nexus deserves a ton more subs than the current number. You, oh, you're, you're a no bull, no sugar coating beast, and I believe pretty much all tech channels can learn from you. Never change the hair. Uh, we learned a lot from all the other tech channels too. So it is a it's it's a good community where we can kind of there's problem with technology with computers is it's impossible to know everything about them. And we can only cover so much at any given time. And uh, so we learn a lot from the other folks too because some, a lot of them cover stuff we don't. So everyone can learn from everyone in this community, which is why, uh, for example, I think Linus's channel, despite what I know a lot of you think of the channel overall, does provide a pretty good service to the community in that it brings in new viewers who don't know anything about any of this stuff, and they eventually kind of uh, graduate on or spread out and watch other channels and stuff too. So he's got a, a big value out there too. But thank you very much for the comment. 123%. So clock, 160 offset. I think that's all this damn card can do. 850 on the memory. Big limitation there as well. Apply, benchmarks, time spike, extreme, run, okay. I can feel the air coming off of that bench. <laughs> uh, it, it burns when internet protocol has posted a $5 uh, super chat. Thank you very much. Next overclocking stream, show off the glass by doing a shot of some kind of alcohol every time you make a benchmark run would be fun for all. Uh, not much competent benchmarking would get done by the end of it. Jagon. 12, $2. I really like your hair. What kind of shampoo do you use? Well, actually, let me, uh, let me locate the tub of it. What I use is stored in another room for safety. Here's what I use. That right there. That is a jar of Ace Attack stock thermal compound, 4 watts per meter Kelvin, only the best. And that is what I use. Probably don't do that. Uh, still running the benchmark. Crowman, MX50. Given the power limitation on the 20 series, what are your thoughts on the $1,800 flagship 2080 Ti from Galax? $1,800 uh, targeted for extreme overclockers. I don't know anything about it, but if it bypasses some of the overclocking limitations, I guess there's a market for it. And ExoSeers might pay for it. But um, I'm being told. <laughs> I'm being told, by the way, that's Vince in chat. So apparently the, the real one is in there. Uh, I'm going to look at chat now. Vince, Vince, I'm watching. I'm judging your YouTube comment quality as you are judging my overclock quality. Damn. No, it is not liking that, that BIOS, I don't think. Uh, whatever, let's do 154. Does anything happen if we do that? Let's see what happens if we do that. <laughs> Kingpin. KP980Ti, question mark. I guess that was a response to someone else. Yeah, I don't know. If, so if Vince is in chat, let's throw that last Super Chat question to him. Look out for Kingpin, I guess. Uh, Kingpin, the question for you from Super Chat was, given the power limitation, oh, it's about a competitor. You can't really answer that, I guess. But uh, let's just pretend, you know, $1,800 card. It's by Galax, but let's just pretend, you know, maybe EVGA makes one, something like that. What, uh, what's sort of the target market for those cards? Obviously, it's, it's extreme overclockers, but how much do you personally uh, gain from those versus if you use like a reference card, for example? Like if you're posting scores on TimeSpy, I want to know if you, Kingpin, go and post a score with two reference cards with whatever mods you can do, 
versus your own Kingpin card, what's the advantage? I think I can summarize some of his answers from what I previously asked him this. And uh, I believe the answer was that a lot of the really hard work that goes into hard modding the cards, like doing actual hardware mods to them, is eliminated with those XOC cards, whether that's Galax or the Kingpin cards or whatever. It doesn't matter which brand. Uh, a lot of the hard work is done for you. So I think that's kind of the idea is it, it really simplifies the process of getting it up and running. Man, this is not happy with that. So let's, let's dial that back, I guess. Um, maybe, what if we do one, you know what? I found something with the shunt mod on the FE that if I, when I, when I did the shunt mod, I had to drop the clock offset because it was boosting higher natively from the shunt mod. So let's try dropping the offset on the, cl on the core and keeping the power target high and see if that same philosophy applies here. I might have to drop it a few times. We're at 180 now down from 200. So the question will be, does our score overall go up from this instead of down? I think that might be what's going on here. <clears throat> Someone says, Kane Penn is Google searching an answer right now. <laughs> what is 2080 Ti Kane Penn? 2080 Ti benchmarks. Is 2080 Ti any good? It's going to come back with an answer. Steve, do you think we'll see true next gen GPUs next year with 7 nanometer? I think we will see, I don't know if it'll be 7, but I do think we'll see another. GPU launch from NVIDIA next year that is not the 20, well, not the current 20 series, I hope. Um, maybe quarter four, quarter one of the following year, I'm not sure. I, I honestly don't know. I'm just kind of going off of, I don't know, gut instinct, I guess. Uh, okay, questions. $2 from XAD Nate. Could you produce a clear glass with a logo? Yeah, I mean, so we've got this one. It's the cobalt glass with the gold rim and the logo. What logo do you want on a clear glass? And what kind of glass? This is just a pint glass. Uh, it is on store.gamersnexus.net if you want to pick it up. We have discounts for packs of two and four, but I haven't seen too many requests for clear. We can certainly do it, though, if there's interest in it. Um, but let me know what changes you'd like to see, like if you want a, a different design for the glass itself. I'll keep an eye on chat, too, for this. Still running a test. Hasn't died this time. So maybe the instinct is right here. Dan Burke, $5, starting a new build, gaming focus, didn't crash. Should I save money on CPU to buy a better GPU, leaning towards AMD? Um, I don't know your budget, unfortunately. Should I save money on the CPU to buy a better GPU? That is a hard question always. So, I don't know. Like, it, I don't know your budget, but the, which changes everything. But the R5, for example, is, uh, is sort of our go-to in its price category, like the 2600. You can get an R5 2600, really good CPU. If you are leaning towards AMD, that is absolutely a good buy. And it is perfectly fine for gaming. And it would free up some budget for other things. So I, I don't know your budget, but if you're kind of like, you're not quite an i7, R7 territory, and you're looking at Intel or AMD and R5, i5 territory, I'd say go R5 2600. And there are times I would go Intel, but it's primarily for the high end or, well, the high end these days, the i7s, uh, for specifically only gaming builds where you want like a 144 refresh or something like that. But you're talking about leaning towards AMD, saving some money on the CPU. R5 2600 sounds like a great choice for that. And then GPUs are good right now if you get 10 series. Prices are good. Vega 56, like I said, uh, the <coughs> stream sponsor, the advertiser is in the link. But RX 580s, Vega 56 finally coming down in price. Finally. So I really liked Vega 56 when it came out. It was a lot of fun to work with. Like it's Easy to overclock, easy to mod. You can do, it does have BIOS limitations, but you still flash the BIOS. You can still do like power table mods in the registry. So a lot of fun to just hack around with. It survived, guys. So it, it made it this time. Finally. 14847. Okay, so what we have learned here is uh, someone's, oh, is, did Kingpin tweet at me or something? Someone said, uh, what we have learned is that, um, the power offset, this is what I learned with the shunt mod too. The power offset was helping push the clocks higher on their own. And then the clock offset was then too high. So I dropped the frequency offset and now we're getting higher scores because 
the boosting headroom is natively higher with a 154% power target. That is pretty cool to learn. Uh, same concept applies with the shunt mod, where you take a shunt resistor and apply liquid metal to it, which, um, of course, be careful doing that. It could fall off. But uh, 14,847 is our graphics score. 14,847. What is Jay's? Where is Jay standing? <laughs> Uh, J, 14884. What am I? 14847. Okay. 14884. We did already officially beat his total score, but I'm concerned. I'm worried because I know Jay. I know Jay's over there probably right now feeding an air conditioner into his computer via a cardboard box, the one that he lives in. So, Jay, I don't want you to damage your house any further. I don't want you to, to keep damaging your cardboard box. I know it took you a long time to save up for that. Uh, and so we're going to try and get an extra lead here before we call it for the stream, because I don't want to end the stream, and then Jay's just like, whoop, there's my score. It beats yours, because that would suck. So, so we gotta, we got to make it a bit of a competition. Uh, so uh, the chat's going crazy right now. Um, so let me take a note of this. The shot's fired. <laughs> Taking out of the score so I know what it is. 14847. Okay. And that is with plus 154% on the XE Ultra. And then with a 180 offset on the core. So that is our big change. So I think we need to do a full run now, now that I know how to get it stable. To get a new score so that I can keep that in case we need to submit it. Before, before I like blow a board and we can't ever come back this way. Uh, so let's just run a full pass just to get it done in case something dies. Shots fired. Burning his cardboard house down with those flames. <laughs> All right. Uh, what keyboard are you using? So this is, what is this, Z10? Is that what it's called, Jacob? EVGA Z10? And uh, I like the keyboard well enough. So. Here's my criticism for this keyboard. We got a couple of these from EVGA for the office, and uh, we are using them for the production systems. However, there are some things I would change. The switches are fine. They're, these are browns. I like them because they're quiet enough that on stream it's not like blasting the mic with clicky noises. But this drives me crazy. So this function button over here, uh, this button should be switched with the Windows button. In fact, the function button on this keyboard is only used for things that the dedicated media buttons can already do. So there's no reason for this button to exist on this keyboard. I think it might be able to do profile switching too. But you could add a hard button for that. So I use the Windows key a lot, like Windows E, I use all the time, Windows D, uh, all the hotkeys. And having it on the other side drives me crazy. There is, to EVJ's credit, in the software, there is actually a button to swap the functions of those two. Unfortunately, the keys are different sizes. So you can swap the functions, but you can't swap the literal function key with the Windows key. Um, I do like the keyboard, though. It's just that one thing. Fortunately, they do have a button to, to fix it in software, but uh, that drives me crazy. So EVGA, if you're listening, it's a great keyboard overall. Uh, build quality is good. It's just these two buttons need to be switched or remove the function button. It doesn't really seem to do much because the media keys do all the stuff that does. I, I don't know. There might be a profile switch, like I said, but... Oh, you know what? There's, this is kind of like a, a silly, dumb feature that's actually kind of cool, though. Uh, so, you ready? Ready for this? Bam! Spring-loaded feet. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's, it's fine. Like, it's, uh, it, I have no problem with it other than that, for the most part. There is one other thing, actually, while I'm, while I'm here. Jacob says he got it. Z10 is the name of it. So... Uh, I do like the keyboard overall, just to be clear. It's just, you know, like I said, that one thing. There is one other thing, and it's, it's a shame because it's a cool feature, but the volume on this keyboard is a, uh, a slider, and the problem with this is if you change output devices, like from speakers to headphones, it no longer applies to that device. Like, it, well, it, it will work to adjust the device, but if we have this at like 30% volume on the keyboard, but the device, when I switched to it, was at 50% volume, they're not adjusting in sync. So it's a really cool idea. Just that feature doesn't play out as it should when switching devices. Um, or if you change the volume in Windows, but not on the keyboard, that hardware switch isn't going to move. So that's a problem, too. So maybe just go to a roller. I know it's what everyone does, but there's a reason for it. 
CPU test hasn't crashed yet. Has not crashed. Kingpin, Steve, you have your work cut out for you, man. <laughs> I'm looking at the chat. Why does everyone want me to look at the chat? Did Jay post a record or something, I guess? <laughs> Jay with the shunts fired. Kinpin said you have your work cut out for you, which I think means Jay posted something. It is the real Kinpin. I think he made a, a uh, thing specifically for this. Did Jay post something? <laughs> I don't see it on the Hall of Fame yet. Did he post it in chat or what? I'm trying to keep an eye on everything at once. Jay, hey Steve, I'm currently at home with my new score safe and sound, not uploaded yet. You're safe until tomorrow. <laughs> Ours isn't uploaded either. Cool. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Jay. We've been sending people your way all night, but now, now I will have to take that back. We can no longer recommend your channel. You can only recommend it if your score is lower than mine. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Chad is just trolling you. No, I don't think they are. I believe that. I believe that Jay, I mean, he apparently posted an 11,000 something CPU score, so he boosted a lot over previously. Kanepin says, I'm benching with Jay. What? That's, how is that fair? How on earth is that fair? Benching with Jay. Let me give, let me give Roman a call and get Der Bauer out here. We, can, we have one competent person on my team. 14219. So apparently, Jay is cheating. And his proxy overclocking through Kingpin. Um, <laughs> get Buildzoid. Yeah, we can do that too. Let's get let's get all them out. Get all the boys out. Let's get their Bauer. Get get uh, Buildzoid. Get the crew together. <laughs> all right. Steve Cop their Bauer. Yeah, we can get a uh, Dan Cop too. The Verge has the high score now. The Verge doesn't have the high score. Okay, so. Uh, what, what, what's, what am I even doing? Our score is 14, 2 on 9. We're a good bit, of, we're, we're a good bit ahead. 14, 2 on 9. And this one's in the wrong spot. And then uh, 14, 8, 6, 2. That's good. 11, 4, 2, 1. You know, I wanted to, that's the same exact score as last time. That's consistent. I wanted to be careful how long we went on this, but if, uh, if Jay is proxy overclocking through Kanepin, I'm going to have to push a bit harder, I think. Uh, and I'm not going to use LN2. So did he beat your offline score, Jay? I don't know. If Jay's still in chat, everyone's got to help me here and, and like keep an eye on chat. I can't see all of it. I'm trying to, though. I'm going to watch chat for a minute just to see if Jay responds. If you don't know who Jay is, there he is. I'm not. No idea why Vince said that. I think he's trolling you. I don't know who to believe. <laughs> On one hand, Vince says he's joking now. I don't believe you. <laughs> now I definitely don't. No, uh, Vince, is a, Vince, is, Vince is a bit of a trickster. Never seen him... So excitable as when he's been overclocking his RoboClocker and at Computex. And uh, Vince, I want you to know we still quote you. When uh, I was standing behind the desk while he was work I was going to say pouring Allen too, but you don't do that anymore. Uh, while he was retired watching his creation do all the work for him, it would occasionally blue screen. And Kanepin would say, I don't know, man, she's done ski. She's done ski, Steve. And he'd run around the table change something, come back, and it would work again. So, Vince, you have left a lasting impression on us. We constantly quote your, she's done ski. <laughs> I think he thought it was dead after like eight hours of nonstop LN2, <laughs> which is a reasonable guess. Jay says that he's not getting outside help. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to believe Jay for now. <laughs> he says he's not, man. <laughs> I'm going to believe Jay. You can check Jay out. Jay's two cents on YouTube. Uh, his name is not Jay's Two, two Rays. That is not his name. Jay's Two Cents is, is his name. Yes, I will beat the offline score. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's restart, I guess. 14219. I better save that just in case we're never back here so that I can at least take second place, apparently. Uh, 
Let's see. The question is, when Kingpin said, you have your work cut out for you, was he BSing me like he was with the other stuff he said? <laughs> 190, let's try that. Let's, I think this will crash. We're going to try 170, 190 on those core offsets. And let's launch 3D Mark. So while that's launching, as I've been saying, the store has the mod mats in stock now. It's got the keychains. We just restocked the sticker decals as well. Super high quality decals. And, uh, and we have the beer glasses. You go to store.gamersnexus.net to pick up any of that stuff to support us directly. We very much appreciate it. All right, let's launch that. See how that does. <laughs> you know, Jay, uh, if you're still there, oh, he is. He says, I do love this battle though, LL. Go higher, Steve. Yeah, no, it's, it's a lot of fun, actually. Um, <laughs> Kane Pen. <laughs> yeah. uh, Kane Pen and chat is hilarious right now. Um, yeah, a lot of fun. So, Jay, thank you very much for responding and giving me s someone to uh, do overclocks with because Linus not only turned it down, ran, and cowered, uh, his entire team did too. Alex, the great ish, I think his YouTube or his Twitter handle is, works for Linus. He actually he had some cool ideas for responding to our score and beating it, but I don't think they came to fruition just because of the RTX launch. So open invitation, Alex, if you want to come back with the RTX launch uh, with your idea you told me about, then that'd be cool. But otherwise, I guess Jay's the only one who wants to play. So Paul, Paul was having fun with us too, though. So Paul pushed some pretty good single card scores earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Rip LTT popping up in chat. Uh, oh yeah, Linus did do the um, the uh, four GB one hundred build, which didn't score too well. Go figure. Quadro cards. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this is a this is pretty fun. Pretty fun battle going with Jay right now. Mister Mister Two Cents himself, the water cooling expert. He did a more professional looking version of the hybrid mod I did, wherein I bought machine screws from Lowe's and then screwed a water blo a CLC block onto it. Uh, Jay actually put a, I, I don't know, what is, what is it, Jay? Was it a Supremacy Evo or something? Put an EK block on it, I think. Um, we noticed the Supremacy Evo would fit, but I only have one, so I had to use it on the CPU. <laughs> All right, uh, and now they're asking about the Post Malone build. Linus tried, but $40,000 cannot give skills. Ooh, ouch. To be fair, that, uh, that build was not really built for, for the 3D Mark. Uh, 30 FPS, yeah. So Jay says, Steve, we got a 7913 single card time spike extreme score. Nice, very nice. I have not done a single card test for a little while now, so we'll have to revisit that at some point. Perhaps once my, uh, oh, single card. I could use the ASUS one for that. That'd be good. Uh, we could put a water block on the ASUS card, do single card testing. I haven't worked with the ASUS one because we're working, waiting for BIOS updates. All right, so that's still running. And I got to take a note of Jay's score so that I know what I'm trying to beat later. 79.13, I think it was. So I'll keep that in mind for later. 7913. Uh, all right, so let me get a couple super chats. Coalition Gaming, $2. Could the EVGA E power device help with your goal? I don't know. Haven't used it before, probably. Bite my bits, $5. My 7940 has half its cores run 10 to 20 degrees hotter than the others. Deleted direct eye mount, used LM first, now on pace, still the same bad chip. Probably. Um, remove the silicone adhesive that's on there and uh, and then go from there like remove it all redo your application make sure it's yes that crashed on the second test so that was with a 170 on what the first card and 190 on this one so let's go down to 160 let's just figure out which card is causing the crashing and that was in graphics too Okay, no CPU test. Okay, graphics. See if that crashes again with the 10 megahertz reduction. Uh, yeah, remove your silicone adhesive, redo it. Um, it's probably creating an air gap causing the delta between cores. 
Okay. Kingpin's real name is Dope AF. Yes. Uh, Mac Drew 421. Hey, Steve, my new MacBook Pro keeps thermal throttling when web browsing. Should I go to Apple and consult a genius or just missing with you? Yeah, uh, definitely don't bother. <laughs> um, NZ Udden, $5. Why is it that CPUs, oh, wait, what's he saying? Jay, Jay's posting something. Everyone stop. What's scrolling up? Uh, Jay put up a nice single FSU. I haven't done Firestrike Ultra yet on this. Jay said, oh, he's saying RTX doesn't suck, the price does. I would agree with that the price definitely sucks uh, in comparison to what we're used to. Well, and in comparison to what you get. There's no RTX yet, but maybe, I don't know. We'll, re we'll revisit once games actually use the features. And the Udden, why is it that CPUs have to be OC'd in BIOS versus GPU OCs? Also, the GN mugs are great quality. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to plug them. Uh, we have the mug back here. So um, next to the, the Snowflake stand-in that Patreon backers gave us and the Midnight stand-in because Snowflake can't be near the streams. She will destroy all of the components. Uh, but yeah, the mug is in stock and available on store.gamersnexus.net. Anyway, your question. So you can OC CPUs in software. It's just, it's not really great. Um, kind of sucks to do. Uh, but there's a lot more options for CPUs. They're lower level options. Some stuff doesn't needs to be uh, enumerated at boot, and you could do that stuff in software, but then you'd have to reboot anyway. So uh, there's a couple notes for you. Did it, did it pass? No. So, okay, so we can't push that frequency on the EVGA card. So that's got to come back down to 180. So we're stuck at 180 there. So, this is going to be kind of slow going for a second, guys, while I'm finding the stable clocks for each card at the high end, because we're kind of revisiting these. Uh, and then I'm going to push memory. So we couldn't go any higher on the EVGA card for core, but maybe for memory. When can we buy Snowflake plushes from the store? I actually have some ideas on that, and I will revisit it once we're ready. <laughs> I do have some ideas, though, uh, involving like giving part of it to a, a, a charity for, like, I don't know, cat shelter or something like that. Uh, let's see, next one. Evocati Productions, $10. It's fantastic, still on the menu. Hoping you can test ML120 fans and JetFlow fans. Uh, I want to see which of these, if the specs are true and which is objectively better. Yes, I just got my fan testing PCB back from the engineer who was helping me fix it. And it's all fixed, it works now, so we can actually start doing that. Um, it was a, uh, it was an issue on the PCB, so I couldn't actually make any progress on it until that was fixed. What is this? What, what notifications am I getting? <laughs> oh, Jay, uh, this is 10 minutes ago. Jay texted me and said, that's not true. Kane Ben isn't helping me. So I, I'm going to believe you, Jay. I'm going to believe you. <laughs> and uh, Jacob from EVGA says, you can launch small things off the feet of the keyboard, I guess. Is that what you do, man? Now that you're a pro streamer for EVGA, do you just, do you find small objects and launch them? Where's a the screw? You just, you just screw. We have a few screws here. That's from one of the video cards. Let's take one that's replaceable. We don't need that one. Okay, this is not the right angle for this. <laughs> Andrew's covering his eyes. Oh my God. <laughs> it actually does launch it. I'm glad I chose, oh, there it is. <laughs> it hit the ceiling or the light or something. Nice. Well, if you needed a reason to use that feature, there you go. <laughs> Aim it at the bench. Yeah, that's a good point. That would have been pretty bad. <laughs> uh, all right. So we're still running. We're finding a stable clock here. Ryan from our team says, new marketing materials for EVGA Z10. <laughs> uh, all right. So I'm shocked that you found that screw so quickly. Yeah, me too. I thought it was gone. Uh, Someone in chat says, I work with Jacob. He literally launches stuff with the keyboard feet. Okay, so it's real. It's real. So yeah, fantastic. It's still on the menu, like I said. Did it, 
survive crash graphics too. Okay, so we can't push these further. We can stop wasting time with that now. So we're stuck at 160 offset on card one, stuck at 180 on card two. Let's try memory. I don't know. Let's try like 1,010. That's such a small gain at this point. Let's try like 1,015 maybe. Apply. Let's see if it insta crashes. I'm not expecting stability. We might have to go the CPU route or a chiller. <clears throat> uh, let's see, Timu Kainanen, $2, still waiting for the hair mount kit. Yes, that is uh, in high demand. It's back ordered for a long time. EVGA puts up a new marketing video soon. Launch it like tech Jesus. <laughs> uh, the Martin C123, five, Quid, have you modded the GPU voltage controller as a secret weapon? No, that was the, man, we're an hour behind on these super chats, sorry. That was the, uh, the V-Bios. Max Robbins, $2, will you make body pillows? No, <laughs> no. NACL with a knife. Uh, Canadian, $10, thank you very much. Here's five, here's five Canadian rubles. Uh, keep up the live streams. A question, as I am also a fellow with blonde hair, what do you use as shampoo and conditioner? I already answered that. It's this. Top of thermal paste. Uh, Modna89, $5. Do we know if core clock speed affects ray tracing ops or tensor cores? So a 10% boost in core clock may boost ray tracing by 10%. I don't know. That is a great question. Uh, technically, they're all housed within the SMs, but I don't, I don't know how it interacts because we don't have anything we can actually really test other than those tech demos. So I don't know. Well, once they give me something to test, we can look into it. I really want to. We've had that question a lot in the last few days on the comments and, and videos. It's a great question. I have it too, but I don't know. I can ask NVIDIA to see if they'll respond. Matthew Madeley, $5. R9 Fury Tri X versus RX 580 at 1080 or 1440p. What's the question? Um, is the question which one's better? I don't know. I haven't tested the Fury X in a, in a the Fury Tri X. Is that the non-X? I haven't tested the Fury. I haven't tested the Fury X in a long time either. So I honestly, you'd have to check one of our own charts. Because like I make the charts and I don't memorize all that data. So I'm sure we have an answer in, a, in one of our charts, but it's been a while. JMR 1969X, $5. One, crush J. Two, medium mod match one. I got that one earlier. Uh, three, using a 2600K, wait for 10 nanometer or go 9900K. I don't know. We don't know the performance of the 9900K yet. So. If you're happy with the 2600K and it's not like holding you back and maybe you don't use it professionally, then just stick with it, man. There's no reason to, to move on. Uh, Thomas Uniat, five Canadian. I postulate you are not wearing pants. Do you have a counter argument? Yes. It is that I am wearing pants. AirTech, uh, 50 Norwegian, I think. Secret weapon using Snowflake to cool down the GPUs. <laughs> Snowflake to destroy the GPUs. Did it survive? Ah, no. Okay. It's not surviving graphics test two, as expected. I think this goes to like 1,005, but there's really no point in getting five extra megahertz. Actually, there is. Let's do it. 1,005. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. Why not? Let's do that. And then, you know, Jacob, if you're still watching, do your profile save and survive reboots? Because I haven't seems like they don't survive reboots. Um, 850 is where we're stuck there, I think. We can maybe try 860. Let's try it. Let's just go up 5 on one, 10 on the other. If it doesn't survive, then I'm going to have to um, play around with the CPU more, I guess, and the memory. We can do a lot with memory, actually. We do a ton with memory. Jay is sleeping with the fishes. Jay apparently has a higher score than us, just it's offline. Oh, Instacrash. Nice. OK. So those memory clocks aren't stable. <laughs> let's, let's work on the uh, system memory instead. <laughs> Night, everyone. My phone is like 800 degrees Celsius. Great stream. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Sorry about your phone. <laughs> Steve, Jay and Kingpin responded to you. I, uh, yes. I, unless you're talking about something else. I think I saw that, though. 
Kane Ben says memory you can do a lot with. Yeah, I also haven't updated the BIOS on this in quite a while. So did Gian rip Jay already? Technically, we have a higher score offline than his online score, but he says he has a higher offline score than our offline score. So yes, ish. Kingpin commented on memory settings. Oh, what did, what what was it? I'm scrolling up. Someone quote it if you have it. I'll scroll back down and look for it in a moment. Kingpin commented on memory settings. Hey, Steve, I'm about to log off. You may be Tech Jesus, but remember I am Tech Judas Knight. Jay's two cents. Well done, Jay. Uh, <laughs> don't get too cold in your cardboard box you live in. Jay is still a leader in Time Spike Stream. Yes, this is offline. I'm not uploading things. Um, Kane pin. Steve, you need to select the right memory frequency. There are steps or delta clocks that need to be dialed in for best scoring. OK. Do you mean the GPU memory frequency? Is that what you mean? I'm scrolling back down, all the way down. Not necessarily the highest. Got it. OK, interesting. And thank you to those of you who pasted that for me. Not necessarily the highest. I follow you. Let's try, um, well, before we screw around with anything, let's try dropping the memory a bit and see if the score goes up. Because I've seen that in the past, and I guess if that's what, uh, that's what you're talking about, that would make sense. ZDG says, I miss OCTV so much. Are they not? Uh, do they not go live anymore? Judas was the better saner. <laughs> Priest is pretty good. All right. So Kingpin says there are sweet spots for memory. All right. Well, let's, let's play around with it, I guess, see if we can figure out if it needs to be lower instead of just highest, which is what I was going for. God is helping Jesus. <laughs> All right. You need to put in tantalum caps for smooth voltage. I'm not going to hard mod it. Do lower ambient temperatures make a difference for what you're trying to do, Ryan? Uh, $10. Yes, absolutely. It makes a pretty big difference. So, um, and if I can't even post anything, I'm going to miss it right now. But uh, ambient GPU clocks. As far as I know, the Titan V responds to clock changes all the way down to like 28, or sorry, temperature changes, all the way down to 28C or something. So um, yes, lower temperature helps a lot. That's why we were considering an ice bucket to begin this. All right, so offset that, max fan speed. Let's just hit apply before doing memory. And um, so we were doing 1,000. Let's just try like. I don't know, 950 or something? Let's see what happens. <clears throat> OK. What's your opinion on the Polaris refresh rumors? I think AMD needs to do literally anything at this point, because uh, they have a big opening right now with NVIDIA's kind of lost favor. Clock 160, power 123. So we're sticking to 850 on memory there. And we're going to drop to like, what I say? Let's drop to like 950 on this one and see if it's better. Kinpin says they all do. The core clock does as well. I think that must be in response to the temperature question. OK, so <laughs> let's see. Let's see if it's better with lower uh, target frequencies on the memory. I've seen it before. Time is quite tricky. Should probably just be running like graphics test two or something, I think. But it does help to have an actual score output. All right. <clears throat> Dave, $5. When is the Raglan Zip hoodie coming back in stock? Medium and large sizes are both out of stock. I just placed an order last week, and I think I got billed for them yesterday, so that means they're probably on the way. Uh, so within about a week, I think, is when they'll be back. OK, I'm going to check Super Chats for a minute. We'll see if this score is any higher than previously with the lower clocks. Uh, OK, please show the hardware setup for new viewers. Yes, we'll do that in a moment. Give me one moment, we'll show the hardware again. Kane Vince says, let me help Jay get another score. Be right back. Damn it, Vince. <laughs> Vince is going to fly over from Taiwan to California to help Jay for an hour, fly back, come back in when he sees I beat the score. How is that fair? 
<laughs> just got here. What's the highest score so far? Our highest score so far is 14,219 total. Jay's online score is 14,043. So we're in first. Jay says he beat that score. Uh, so he's in first when he uploads it. I haven't uploaded ours either. Was that not stable? That's weird. Um, so that's that's where we stand right now with the scores. You know, there's a like a bug here or something too. I don't know if Jacob's still watching, but Precision, for whatever reason, uh, will drop the power target from 123 to 122 if I click to the other video card. But if I stay on this one, it stays 123. I want that 1%. I don't know if it's doing anything, but drop that 800. I think our scores will go down at this point. I need to come back to this tab now to increase the power target again because it's going to bug down. Try 980. Yep, 122. Okay. Let's run that again. What did it fail? Graphics 1 or 2? Graphics 1. Okay, so we'll run both. Kingpin uh, in chat has told us to dial in the memory, not just go for the highest memory offset, but dial it in um, to find the most, uh, the best score. I guess it's done in increments or something. And he also says we have a special board coming soon, which I think I know. I think I know about that one. All right. Did I miss anything else in chat? <laughs> it's gonna run another, run another benchmark. See if it survives. I want to get higher than fourteen thousand two nineteen. I guess we can do system memory, but I. I think I do need to dial in the uh, the video memory more, from what came what KP was saying. Okay. <clears throat> so questions we had, I got all those. Got that one. Um, trying to catch up on the super chat, and there are a lot of them. There's the weird body pillow one. There's the R9 Fury one. Okay, so here it is. Can you T-pose for 10 seconds? $10. This happens every stream now. I'm not going to T-pose. That's weird. <laughs> 3D, 3D scan or something. Uh, doing a, I did an A-pose last time. Get that one. Uh, okay. Ezekiel Alfonso, 100 ARS. Thank you very much. No message with that, but thank you nonetheless. Autumn Bones, 94, $5. My OC 10 ATI hybrid is stable at 2088 megahertz. Temps are fine. I'm hitting the power limit. Should I look into doing a shunt mod? Uh, I guess. Like, it's... The problem I have with the shunt mods is if you're not doing this, then it doesn't feel like there's a lot of point. Like, it's not really worth it if you're just trying to game. So... If you're competitively overclocking, then yeah. And maybe look into like doing a piggyback shunt resistor on top of it instead of liquid metal. Uh, for it's, liquid metal is difficult to work with for these because like, if you apply too much, then you get 2D clocks. If you don't apply enough, it doesn't do anything. There's no really easy way to tell if it's going to work or not. So I wouldn't generally recommend it unless you're like competing or something. And trying to keep an eye on all chats and it's difficult. Kingpin saying this one is different than all previous versions or all previous motherboards, I guess. And you're really building that board up. <laughs> you should fly out here with it. Bring it out. We'll do an over. You know, that's what we should do. There's your there's your overclock hook. Tie it in with the new board. Bring it out with a CPU, and we can uh, do some kind of OCN on it. It's frozen. Oh, or did it pass? I think it died. Nope, that died. <laughs> Bad pool collar. V mesh or something. Someone says his name must be on it, the like Kingpin name, I guess. Have they done a Kingpin motherboard? You can ignore chat for the next five minutes, mostly just screaming T pose. Oh, Kingpin says uh, the KP board, KP card, is the one that they're doing different, I guess, not the motherboard. All right, so that crashed. I want to try and get some more out of the CPU too while we're rebooting. 
And I think I can get, no, I think I can get away with a couple cores at 49. Maybe. <clears throat> and let's, you know what? Let's do memory first. Let's do 48 on the cores. Memory, I've, oh, it's stable at 15. I think I can get this down to 26. I did once before. I have an old profile. Let me load an old profile from the RIP LTT stream and see what I did for memory there. And I'm going to work backwards from that. I worked with Buildzoid on this profile previously. So 48. Let me check the main page again. 33, that's good. 1.95, good. 1.38, 1.335. Let's do 1.34. We have more cooling this time than last time. That is kind of high. Oh, whatever. Let's do it. Uh, okay. So I don't know if this is still stable or not. I don't know if we've had any degradation of components, but we will find out. Oh, no, it's not an 8086K. Yeah, I know. The Windows boot screen says that. It's because I cloned the drive. It's a, it's a 7980XE is the CPU. OK. Someone says, uh, Alex West, $10. The stream inspired me to push my gaming laptop with 3D Mark. I'm at 1429, hashtag RIPGN. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's in legacy mode. Uh, I don't know if I've, I guess I have run 3D Mark on laptops. It's been a while. Some of them were pretty impressive. It's always a thermal issue with those, though. I'm trying to think of the best cooling I've seen on a laptop, and I'm having trouble coming up with an answer. I guess the biggest ones by nature of being bigger, we're superior generally. All right, boot needs to be UEFI. It's not legacy anymore. Nordic Gapper, $10. Hey, Steve, love the content you guys create. Big thanks to you and the rest of the GN team for working hard. Thank you for the support. Ezekiel Alfonso, hey, one question. Considering the massive improvements that the 10 series was in 2016, 1070 beating the OG Titan X, and the 2080 Ti having the same performance of the Titan V, what do you think? Uh, I talk about that in the reviews, but yeah, okay. So those are not stable anymore. Um, what do I think? I think the price is just not there. Like if, if the games actually had RTX features, it would be easier to justify spending a lot of money for cool new stuff. But you're buying cool new stuff that you can't use. So yeah, not, not a... Not a big fan of the prices. TRFE should be a lot lower, Kingpin says. Do an OC tournament with Buildzoid and Der Bauer against Kingpin. Maybe if I'm like the announcer or something. <laughs> There's no reason for me to get in on that. Uh, I don't remember what our problem was with stability on this last time. What did he say should be lower? Not so important for graphics. Yeah, graphics is uh, is the weak spot anyway. For Fire Strike, you need to work on those. Yeah, definitely for Fire Strike. TRFC, they're saying should be lower. I don't. I think we had trouble when I tried it like 240 or something. Is what I tried last time. Uh, I don't think. This is where, this is where I always get stuck. Because um, <laughs> I don't know why exactly we're crashing. Because I changed everything all at once, so that's always kind of sucky. But let's let's put that back up to twenty-eight. I think I was at twenty-eight last time. Let's just see if that does anything. And then I had TRFC at two forty. Uh, he must be nearing 230 watts for the CPU. No, a lot more than that. A lot more when it's running. Um, OK. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just have 10 and see what it does. This is, at, this is where I am limited by experience with memory overclocking. So we're going to kind of, can you 14, 14, 14? No, actually, I've tried that. I worked with Buildzoid on that uh, for the last stream, for the RIP LTT stream. And 14 did not hold for us. We had to go, uh, we had to go to 15. We did 15, 15, 15, 26 successfully. 
the kit I have is like a G skill tried and Z. You know what? I said we'd go over the components. Um, hey, it's booting this time. It's in like that 26, I think. I'm not confident in the stability of this. I don't know if it's going to make it. <laughs> uh, made it to Windows. OK. So I said we'd go over the components again. Um, I'll let Andrew reposition while I, oh, god damn it, blue screened. <laughs> well, anyway, we'll go over the components. Uh, TRFC, yeah, I saw that. Um, OK, so parts for the people asking what we're using. We have an X299 dark board, which uh, a lot of this, the core components are what we use for the RIP LTT stream. So 299 dark, G-Skill Trident Z, which is 4,000 megahertz currently at um, CL15. And then we have a 7980XE under a, a water block. This is a 2016 supremacy block. We have 360 rad thermal take radiator, really fat one, with two maglev fans from Corsair. We have a Sunon fan that I bought on there. It's super high RPM. Uh, an Octo fan for exhaust up here. Gentle Typhoon fan on the back for intake over the VRM. An Octo fan in the front for intake onto the VRAM and the VRM on the modded card. Be Quiet Silent Loop 280 that I hooked up to a, an FE card. And then an AX1600i for the PSU. Uh, some SSDs and a pan controller. I think that covers all of it. Okay. 4133 is po 12, 12, 1228 is possible in the dark. I mean, yeah, but I worked with Buildzoid on that stuff before, and I don't think we ever got this memory down there. Need some like team memory or something. Vince needs to send you LM2 pots, yeah. T Raffy, way too loose. See Rafi. EFI, I think, is supposed to be a bigger number. What other profiles did I save? Do I have a stable one? No, not really. OK. Well, one point, I'm going to cap this at some point, but 1.8, 15, 15, 15, 28 is stable. Um, how does that go? I th yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, uh, 48. Let's tr try 49, 49 on two cores was stable once before. 33 for mesh. I haven't tried pushing that up. That'd be helpful if it does. OK. Where is mesh? 1.38.2. OK. This is where I, I think what we'll have to do is push the, uh, Kingpin said you need 2.05. On what? On the memory? I missed his, um, missed the context of his comment. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do is Get it stable to a point where it boots. Steve, go to type A. Yeah, that'd make it easier. Uh, get it stable. We should go. We should, we should get um, either cane pin in California or, yeah, probably that's the easiest. And I'll head out there and we all t group up with Jay and cane pin and do something. Um, try and get it to boot. Get the GPUs where I want them. And then submit whatever score we have. See what Jay releases in the morning. Then respond to it after I have time to sit down and work through the memory timings. Because otherwise, it's going to be really boring trial, trial and error forever. Uh, you need good DIMMs, though, Steve, and also good IMC. Yeah, I know. That's always, that, is the, that is the challenge. I don't know how good our, uh, our DIMMs are pretty good, but, but they're not the best. We have a Corsair kit that's pretty good, but I only have two sticks. It's a 4600 kit uh, rated. It runs like 4100 with pretty tight timings. But I only have two sticks, and running in dual channel really seems to hurt the scores on this bench versus quad. <laughs> OK, netio.sys, not happy. Getting to the point where it's just going to blue screen a lot. Just shunt already. I did the FE card, anyway. We did not do it on the uh, EVGA card. We probably could, though. It'd be a pain to do it. I think 
Um, what we should probably do is put the EVGA card underwater and get a custom loop going with both cards because that EVGA card's holding me back just because, like, the cooler's fine, but it's still in the 60s. And the other card I have in the 40s, and that's going to benefit the clock a lot. I'm held back by, of course, memory overclocking ability because that is a weak point for a lot of us. Um, what am I doing here? Let's, uh, let's defaults on the defaults on the timings just to clear them. Remember Jay was using AC to lower the temperature. Yeah. Yes, that would be a, a good move. Steve bust out the AC box. <laughs> we have too many uh, too much AC like too, too many ventilation ports, it's all split through the whole office. What I need to do is get a chiller in here. Um, okay, so XMP 4000, 1.8 is more than enough, 15, 15, 15, 28, and that seems seems high. Why is that not auto? Uh, okay, so let's just go, let's see if it'll boot. That's my goal right now. Will it boot? Just to get a final score in here, or two. 1.3 V core. Steve, just run to Home Depot and buy a standing unit. They're like $300 or less. Yes, that seems like a good investment. <laughs> I'll just get a chiller from someone in the industry. That seems cheaper. How about the performance sliders in the NVIDIA control panel? I didn't mess with those. I'll open it up, though. <laughs> what CPU is he running on this? 7980XE. Is what we are running. Get an aquarium cooler. You have core two at forty nine. Oops, whatever. Uh, it is deleting. It is deleted. Sorry. Yes, it did help significantly. Kane Pen says, "Dude, all caps!" Exclamation point. Because I, quote unquote, forgot the performance sliders in the control panel. I.e., have never messed with for this. I can't see anything. All right, let's let's do this, Kane Pan. Let me uh, let's see what you're talking about. Set those sliders, damn it! He says <laughs> that's a lot of points, apparently. Uh, okay, so where even are these sliders? Are you talking about the? Uh, 3D setting sliders. Oh yeah, there is like that texture filtering slider, isn't there? I forgot about that one. <laughs> nice. Good graphic. <laughs> 3D settings. Uh, okay, 3D settings. What even are the slider options that I should be adjusting? Sets so performance. Oh, Sam's in here. Hey, Sam. Uh, Sam, who loaned us the Titan X. Sam, what did, I missed, uh, missed the message. Where is it? Performance, that's it. That's it. OK. Global settings or program settings? We don't use these for reviewing cards. Uh, performance. Maximum performance. OK, power management. So that's on max performance. And 
leave all these application controlled, I guess. Texture filtering. Are those, I guess those scores are still valid. Are those still valid when you start uh, changing the sliders? I think they are on hardware bot. Texture filter. Adjust image settings. Left bar, adjust image settings with preview. Oh, gotcha, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Performance, okay. So it's a literally a slider, got it. Now what about these? Do I need to, is the score valid if we change these or no? <laughs> I like chat. Ch chat forgets that I've got a screen on each side of me and can't see both at the same time. <laughs> can't pen. Dude, <laughs> now manage 3D settings. Yeah, we're already there. <laughs> Cane pen versus build zoid. Okay, please record how to do this for your viewers. Would love a guide on the website from Cane pen U. Yeah, I, we do want to work with KP on some of this stuff. Okay, all right. So now that everyone's calmed down, I think we I think we got all these. Appreciate the looking out. Set from quality to high perf. Did that? Did that already? Uh, yeah, there. I think I got both of them right. There are two settings. So I got preferred maximum performance on power management. And I've got high performance on texture filtering. Unless I'm missing one somewhere. Oh, threaded optimization. Sure. No, multiple CPUs or multiple cores. Which one? Multiple CPUs. We're not running multiple CPUs. Triple buffering. Okay, all good now. All right, cool. Okay, let's see what kind of difference it is. I'm curious now. <laughs> it's even stable. We changed stuff in memory too, so. Uh, all right, so max that out, 180 offset was stable originally. I know it might not be optimal, I guess, for delta clocks from what was being said earlier, but we'll do 1,000 there just because I know it works because I want to see what the difference is from these uh, NVIDIA settings. And then clock was 850, stable originally here. 160 was stable here. 123, okay. 3D mark, check chat for a bit. <clears throat> All right. Don't forget your static wristband. <laughs> Those two sliders are key, Kingpin is saying. Did it instantly crash or did I forget to? Oh, I never launched it. <laughs> so what's happening now? Oh, and just, just for good measure. Let's just uh, go back to native resolution, just to be consistent. If anything, will work. Okay. Come on, Windows. <laughs> Stop. What are you doing? All right. We're going to let Windows figure out its life for a second. It was unhappy that I alt f 4 um 3D Mark, I think. OK, there we go. All right, cool. Nope, never mind. OK, there we go. This file does not have an app associated with it. Yes. Display settings, please. Oh, is it just like not launching the display settings now? That's nice. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll run it with the monitor set in the non-native resolution and wait for this to finish crashing again. Delete system 32, that's a good idea. That's probably the problem. Uh, so someone says you forgot to turn off the fans on the second card you adjusted. I actually didn't. 
Thank you for looking out, though. It is um, that card is under liquid, so uh, that card is not even using the fan. The fan header is not even connected in that one. It's a um, we called it a hybrid mod, but it's just got a liquid cooler on the core and then a bunch of air blasting it from separate fans that are plugged into the motherboard. All right, so let's launch this and then let me. I, will, I have no idea if it's stable because we changed a lot of things all at once. Um, so anyway, let me give you the most recent score we had. I did apply the settings. Uh, the most recent score was 14,219, and then graphics was 14,862. What was Jay's? 884, I think. I think his was 884. Jay was 14,884, and his total score was 14,043. So our offline score has beaten his online score, but he says he has another offline score that will beat our offline score if you follow all that. Uh, that's where we stand right now. I think that's everything to get everyone up to speed. Our CPU score is 11,421. And uh, yes, I think, that, I think that catches everyone up. Damn. So system service exception. Probably some of the memory, or that 49. X core I had in there. Power settings already on max performance, guys. <sighs> which card in which slot? Well, Precision, I don't think, lists them in the order they're installed. Uh, was No, someone said one was on 49, but it's not. Okay. So all that looks fine. We're not doing anything crazy here. Um, I think it's the memory tripping up. Okay. 6, 5, 15, 15, 15, 28 should be stable. 1.3 is fine, 8, and then 48, okay, let's see if that works. <clears throat> now we're getting all that. Uh, NVIDIA control panel restore defaults on 3 dmarkexe then set the sliders, adjust the high performance and power settings, and disable Windows Defender. It was just pasted a lot. About the hybrid video card. The driver and video card is happy with having no response from the fan. I remember my old card that always throttled if the fan stopped. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem, to, doesn't seem to care. Does not, it seems to work just fine. Okay, that was the cleanest boot we'd, have, we'd had in a while. So let me go to NVIDIA control panel, and then I'm following some steps here. So restore defaults on 3dmark.exe, okay? Manage 3D settings. Program settings. It's gonna be a small window right now. NVIDIA's control panel is extremely slow. 3dmark.exe. Seems like we already have the defaults, so I think we're good there. And then set the sliders, adjust the high performance and power settings, and disable Windows Defender. I think we already got those set. So is this still high performance? Nope. Quality, high performance, apply. Okay. And then manage these. Power settings. Max performance is still there. So that stayed. Okay. And I don't know how to navigate Windows 10. I stopped learning on Windows 7. <laughs> uh, let's just go to services. Services. Where's my services? Services, okay. Windows Defender. 
Uh, it's already off. Yes, that is already deactivated. This is... Oh man, that's off. 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 I think they're already off. Okay. All right, I'll check chat in a second. All right, so I just want to run this and see what even happens at this point. It's been a while. Hopefully it works. Windows power plan should already be high performance. Uh, power. I think that's already high performance. Yeah, we're already high performance there for the Windows power settings. That much I always get on a clean install. Okay. All right, so clock. Try 1000 because I know it used to work. <laughs> Hopefully it still does. 180. Uh, apply. This is the second card, so we need to max out those fans to apply. And then first card. 850 was working, 160 was working, so hope they still are. And power target 123%. Benchmarks, TSE, run. Okay, <laughs> see if it goes. <laughs> Watch it instantly blue screen. Disable the icon shadow text effect for more performance. I just got in what CPU is he running? 7980XE. <laughs> Three mark needs its profile changed at Trump's global settings. OK, I will check that after this. Thank you. Steve, do you ship worldwide for any of your GN merch? We ship worldwide for all of the GN merch, uh, unless you're obviously in like North Korea or something. Then no. But otherwise, yes. And if you're in North Korea, you should probably be doing something else than watching this. But yes, we ship worldwide on store.cameraxis.net. Steve, she's Dunsky, someone says. I hope that becomes a thing. That was, if you missed it earlier, that's what Kingpin said <laughs> at Computex when his crazy LN2 sort of semi-closed loop system was blue screening. She's Dunsky, Steve. Kingpin's been in chat, by the way. <laughs> and then the beer glasses are also restocked on store.cameratexas.net. All right, do you ship to Antarctica? I don't know, we've never tried. If like a carrier goes there, sure, why not? Ship to Australia, that's, I think that's the most expensive shipping cost for us is Australia. Actually, no, there's some random um, islands we've checked, uh, like Pacific Islands that are really expensive to ship to. We set special rules for those just so we didn't like lose a ton of money on shipping. Dunskis equals the new F. <laughs> beer for liquid coolant. I think, didn't Jay try that? I think Jay tried beer for liquid cooling. I'm pretty sure he did. <laughs> I don't remember how it worked out. <clears throat> All right. Uh, yes, Jay did. It. I'm being told Jay did actually try that. What is your CPU running on now? It is running on just pure, just distilled water. Nothing else. No fancy coloring or anything like that in the coolant. Uh, just distilled water. And it is at 4.8 gigahertz. We're on 1.3 volts, maybe, I think, 1.3 volts. S the memory is at 4,000 megahertz. And I think that recaps most of the specs. What in the beer? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how the beer aged in that loop. Uh, <laughs> Jay also tested milk. Okay. All right. All right. So this is running. It hasn't crashed yet. It's not a CPU test, but the GPU test seems to kind of be alive. I'm scared to commit to an answer on that. Uh, so you had some super chats, five dollars. Create a shortcut on your desktop with shutdown exe to restart into oh slash r slash fw slash t one to restart into uafi. I have one for shutting down to bypass the Windows updates, uh, but I did not know there was one to go straight into uafi. That is cool. If it's not a joke, thank you. Uh, Josh White, ten dollars. 
Jay has BIOS mods based on his Twitter single score. Yes. Wow, these are old. Uh, the Martin C123, all hail Kingpin. Yes, that is, do that. That is, that is a good thing to do. Uh, Kin posted two comments, okay. Uh, have you tried replacing the water with liquid metal? Someone says. Kinpin. <laughs> Kinpin says, me and Jay had a lot of, me in all caps, and Jay had a lot of fun benching this. GG, Steve. So does, does Jay know that as soon as he left, you just kept telling everyone that you did all the work for him? <laughs> did you do the same thing that you're doing here? I feel like Kane Pin's like this Rainer, and he's he's he, he is so high up on the scoreboards at this point that he's gotten he's grown bored. He's grown bored with being the most powerful man in the world, and so now he has to go find minions to make them overclock against each other, so that he he can uh, see which one he can use to get a higher score. <laughs> Must be lonely on the top for years, KP. I'm, I'm sorry. I hope we're providing you some entertainment. There we go. That's a big improvement. 14,367. Dang. God damn, that's a big jump. <laughs> so here's the jump. Have you tried deleting with tweezers? Uh, the jump is 15,053 points in graphics now. Master of puppets. <laughs> um, Everyone's saying, dance my puppets, dance. Yes. Uh, so he says, I'm so lonely. That's sad. That's actually really sad. Uh, so a great job. No, great, great job to you and chat. So here's the, here's the, I'm going to walk away from chat for a second. Um, just so I can recap the scores for people. So yes, you absolutely were right on the performance settings. So here's the difference. I didn't change anything on the GPU clocks. The CPU changed, but not the GPU. And our GPU score previously was 14,862, and now we're at 15,053. So 15,053, let me type that in, and we got 14,367 for total score. Where previously, we had 14,219. CPU is at 11,422, which is one point ahead of where it was, so that has not changed. And I think, um, Kingpin going to post your results tonight as well. Yeah, I, I'll save it. Good, good call. I'll save it. We'll validate once I have internet uh, after the stream, I guess. Um, what is this even? 14.367. Let's save that. 14.367. Um, so, oh, Jay's score is live. Okay, cool. 14.884 is what Jay's is. Cool. What did he post? What did he like, go to the office to post it? <laughs> Remote in. Um, so what are his, where is he gaining all of his points? I'm refreshing 3D Mark Hall of Fame. <clears throat> 14, 884. <laughs> I'm still, still loading 3D Mark Hall of Fame. I don't know, did you guys like crash it or something? We've done that before. I can't get it to load. When we did rip LTT, everybody in chat crashed the 3D Mark Hall of Fame. And I emailed the people we know there and apologized. Um, I can't get it to load. If someone can load Jay's score, they're saying it's the AC. If someone can load Jay's score, uh, tell me what his CPU and GPU score are. Because like, if you still have it open, don't refresh it, because you won't be able to get it back. Um, I have not submitted this score yet, so you're not going to see it there. It's, this system's not connected to the internet. So if someone has it open, please tell me what was his CPU score and his GPU score so that I can uh, know where I most need to gain. GPU, 17633. Damn, that is really high. It's the AC, Kingpin says. <laughs> OK, so uh, instead of what this one commenter said, which is wait till the middle of winter and open all the windows. <laughs> I think, no, that's the old score you're, some of you are posting. I think um, <clears throat> what I want to do probably is get the ice bucket ready for the next step. That's probably what we, I need to go buy some, some uh, like needable eraser, put it around the PCB, get some shop towel and see if we can, 
ice the thing. And I also need to put the EVGA one underwater, so I'll, I guess I'll get another water block for that. Jay's got the hookups for those. I have one card on air, and he's got one. Uh, he's got one for sure on water. I don't know if Jay has both on water. All right, so did anyone post? Hall of Fame is Gonski, Kenpin says. <laughs> Uh, RIP Hall of Fame. Where, so what was, did anyone actually post this full score? I see a bunch of the old scores. Uh, 17.633 is what I saw for GPU. I did not see a CPU score posted. 11.767, thank you. 11.767. Okay, so we're not too far from that. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to save this, and I already did. And uh, once we end the stream, I'll upload that. So we'll have that in the number two slot, apparently, if, I don't know, if three marks even working right now. And then I need to, uh, all I need is RGB for another 300 points, apparently. What I need to do <laughs> is, is take some time and work on the memory, because that's where I have the most room for improvement. And uh, it's something that I just need to spend a lot of time on with trial and error. So. I think I can work on that. I've seen a lot of like, a lot, a lot, a lot of Hall of Fame is Dunsky, Steve, she's Dunsky, and Rip Hall of Fame, F Hall of Fame, site can't be opened, Gons, hashtag Gonski HOF. Uh, uh, people can't even log into their 3D Mark accounts. Sorry. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to spend some time tonight working on more memory overclocking until I can figure it out, get some other sticks out of storage, if any of them work well enough for this. And I think that's my biggest place to gain. Um, GPUs, the next biggest place, the EVGA XE Ultra has done really well for us, but it needs to be underwater. So I'm going to have to find a water block or buy one or something, probably buy an, uh, another, what is it called? Supremacy Evo, I think, will fit. And then I think that's probably probably the best thing to do at this point. Uh, so yeah, we need more water. And we need some chilling of the water. And, uh, and also wrapping everything. Steve, when is the second memory video coming out? We're doing animations on it, so not too long. Still doing animations. Chill that bad boy, Kanepin says. <laughs> All right. OK. Um, you can get around the GPU boost better, BS better. Yes, GPU boost is a problem because it like changes temperatures. Chase, oh, hang on, hang on. Hey, I'm gonna put you on speaker. Hang on. Hey. You there? Oh crap! Uh, you're still playing to my Bluetooth. Let me pause the stream. I I never left the stream. I was I was spying on you. Okay, Andrew, can you hear him? Uh, the scores that they're telling you, they're trolling you. I did not get a score in the 17,000 GPU. I don't believe you. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm serious. And, and both my cards are on air, by the way, not on water. Okay. So, yeah, I anyway, saw, yeah, I saw your one on water. Was that an Evo block for that? No, that's actually why I was calling you. It's, it's just that $15 water block I got off Amazon. <laughs> okay, cool. The, um, I'm pretty sure the Supremacy Evo will interfere with the faceplate, so I don't want you to, uh, to waste any time on that. Okay, gotcha. Cool. Um, so, yeah, I just, I just wanted to let you know, but no, uh, for real, my, my GPU score is nowhere near the number that they're saying. It would be nice, but um, yeah, that's not the case. <laughs> well, screw you, chat. This is Jay on the phone, Jay himself. And now they're saying yeah. Jay is a troll. So, so. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, no, let me, let me put it this way. The, the moment you posted that 14,300, let's just say I drove into the office because I got some work to do. Okay, cool. Well, the battle is on then. Uh, and Jay, it's been a lot of fun doing this. Thank you for answering the, the call. Um, Kane Penn, by the way, has a message for you in chat. He says, Jay, it's time to get back to work. <laughs> Jay's gone. He's dead. I don't know what happened. You there? Oh, there he is. Okay. Vince is trolling so hard. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's legitimately just puppet mastering right now. He's making, he's pitting you and me against each other in good fun, of course. But uh, short of just a couple of CPU questions I had, like, earlier in the week, he right. is not 
he has not been a part of this. Well, Jay, just just uh, so fair is fair, did you do your NVIDIA uh, control panel changes? Because you should do those if you haven't. Because Vince yeah, walked. I haven't actually. Cool. Like, what is this way? To give you an heads up, uh, the scores that you see posted, I had not touched the GPU panel, and I did not have AVX offset uh, oh, wow. at zero. So, and, and I also was not, I was also running extremely loose timings on the memory. So the Doesn't scores I'm going to be posting are, uh, are significantly higher on the CPU side. Right, right. Okay, yeah, well, so uh, make sure you adjust the slider settings so that it's fair. So high performance mode for those, and then video control panel. Right, so maximum performance and then performance on the slider. And you have to do it on the global as well as the, uh, the 3D Mark profile. Yes, yeah, so do it on the 3D Mark profile because that overrides global from what they were saying. And then adjust image settings with preview. It needs to be high performance. Did you have to do, you didn't do anything with multi-threaded, right? Uh, no, they, Kingpin said leave that alone. Yeah, that's what I thought. So yeah, the original scores you saw up there are all those settings were at default, and the CPU was not overclocked. But also too, I, I'll I'll just fair is fair. Uh, my CPU on my on my scores I'll be uploading is at five point one. Oh wow. Okay, nice. I can't get mine that high. I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> mine mine cannot survive any tests other than three D Mark. It will crash it in Cinebench or anything else, but it's stable for three D Mark. Okay. Cool. So, all right. Well, cool. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just keep this going. Yeah, <laughs> I look. I know, I know uh, through through a birdie that you you are sharing some special software that I'm sharing now. So <laughs> it's gonna get interesting. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, he's he's. <laughs> yes, I think that is uh, that is accurate at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I think you've probably seen as well as I have, if you've already played around with it, that the core becomes much higher. Yes. So it, it's single, I think single score is where the race is going to be, honestly. Yes, and uh, single score and also air is is really going to hold back the the card that's that I have that's air-cooled. Because, like, yeah, you know, yeah that extra. You get those, get those VRMs on water, and you'll see your whole usage uh, in terms of, you know, power limit really improve. Right, right. Yeah, so, well, we've got them pretty low on air. They're running, like, well, it's not running right now, but they were running about uh, 50 degrees. But it can certainly be lower with water. So, um, I, I've got my VRMs under load running 17 C. Nice. That's and it made, a, it made a huge difference. So, I mean, if you get if you get something rigged up on those VRMs or hell, just get an EK water block, then then the race is definitely on. Right. Cool. Well, we'll keep it going. Right, Thanks for calling in. All right. Have a good night. You too. See ya. Right. So, chat. We have to talk. <laughs> that was Jay, last name two cents, <laughs> on the phone. And uh, we're keeping it fair. I told him what Kingpin told me. Not keeping any secrets here. He told me some of the stuff he's working on. So we're keeping it fair. But each of us is still doing the hardware work on our own. So uh, chat, you bastards. I'm not going to believe you. <laughs> Your Jay has a 17,000 score. He's pretty in he said that when we posted the 14,367, he drove into the office because he has some work to do. And I'm sure he'll beat it because it sounds like he's got a pretty good hardware set up. So uh, Paul is Dunsky is now what everyone's saying. Yes, that is true. All right. So, Kinpin says, I like this fight. I think, KP, if you're still watching, here's what I think. I think, uh, of course, we wanted you to visit the office at some point, too. But I would be happy to fly out to California and meet with you and Jay. If you can, if you can meet us in like the EVGA HQ. So Jay and I will keep this going. And we'll go as far as we can on our own up until we need some expert, uh, an expert to laugh at us. And uh, then what we should do is get the three of us together at HQ and see what we can do there. So I think that'd be a lot of fun. But until that point, I have a lot of work to do. Jay has a lot of work to do. We're currently ahead of him. Sounds like he's going back into the office right now to try and get ahead of us. Because chat, chat was lying to me, believe it or not. <laughs> and chat said that he had a way higher score than he presently does. Um, so the battle is still very well on. We're going to call it at 14,367. I'm going to upload this score. And I'm going to get to work doing it myself on the memory overclocking. So 
No, I'm not going to call Kane Pen. Uh, I am going to just sit here and read about the different timings so I, can, I need to finally learn more about how to tune them anyway uh, to improve. So improving our content will benefit from this. And then, um, and then trial and error. And I'm going to get some water blocks in. Oh, and Mustangs by Matt says, thanks for the Acronis suggestion. I hope that works for you, man. OK, so that's where we stand for that stuff. Chad is Dunsky. It's a thing. It's a thing. Kingpin has spoken. Scroll up. OK, what did Kingpin say? I need to like set KP as a mod or something. Kingpin says, let's do it. Steve, so you're the East Coast. Yes. KP says, let's do it. So there's the plan then. We'll work with the UGA and figure out timing. There's launches coming up, Intel and all that, 2070, of course. So we'll figure out timing, but it should be a lot of fun. And uh, yes, we will we'll get back to work. It'll be, it'll be tons of fun. So uh, really looking forward to, to pushing this fight onward. Jay's, Jay's fun guy to work with on this. Uh, check out his channel, Jay's Two Cents, if you don't know what it is. I'm going to go through some super chats here. We have a lot to go through. Don't send any more super chats. I got to get through what we have. So uh, Mustangs by Matt was the last one I saw. I'm not going to read. I'll try not to read any past there. Um, but uh, let me get through some of these. And just a note, we have some non-GPU videos going up this week. So we have a uh, liquid metal cleaning video. And then we have a tariffs video. That's pretty interesting. So stay tuned for those if you're sick of GPU content. We'll be doing another stream pretty soon. We still don't have production systems in the office. We have one, and it just almost caught our headphones on fire. More on that later. Um, yeah, a lot more on that later, maybe. Uh, so still need to build those. I want to do that on stream. So keep an eye out for those announcements. Uh, someone says Jay died. No, Jay is not literally dead. He's driving into his office to return fire. Invite Paul to the battle. Paul, you're, you're totally invited. KP say th says, thanks, guys. It was a lot of fun. Thank you, KP, for joining. It was a lot of fun. Pretty cool to see you in here. And uh, Paul, get an NVLink bridge, man. Join in. I know Bitwit has one. Just go steal it from him. You know, he's not going to use it. Just blasting his with, like, some fan he bought at Home Depot or something. And uh, yes, happy birthday to Kingpin, of course. All right, so Super Chats. Let me get through these. So we had, I think we stopped. Had um, uh, let's do Ezekiel Alfonso. Oh no, I got that one. Uh, we got this one too. Josh White, we got that one. Got all hail Kingpin. Um, okay. Kaius for shunt mods is graphite not viable like the old Athlon pencil trick. Uh, the trouble with, I don't know. I, I haven't used graphite, but uh, the trouble with doing some stuff like if you um, short the shunt with just a, a short wire, I think. Mr. Bauer finally demonstrated this. If you short it with just a wire, and the wire gauge isn't good, then uh, you will drop into 2D clocks. The card detects that, it freaks out, and it drops the clocks to like 300 megahertz. So you need to use like a piggybacked resistor or something like that. Der Bauer and Bill Zoid have both been talking about this recently. Uh, Adam Brisboys, $5. Steve, I hope my CPU has arrived all. Well, yes, probably. I forgot the 8088 in the first box. I'm surprised I said those numbers all in a row. Uh, can you increase the brightness of the stream? It seems dark. Oops. Sorry. Um, <laughs> we'll keep that in mind for next time. Uh, probably got it. We're going to do a, a fan mail segment at some point. Mac Drew, 241, secret weapon. No, oh, you got that. Uh, not an NVIDIA guy, but I do love all your content. Keep it up from Red Shadow, $20.99, $10. Thank you very much. And oh, yeah. Uh, I got a note from one of our guys on the team. So about mod mats, like I said, they are on uh, the store. So store.gamersnexus on it. They're actually in stock now. They're not back ordered anymore. If you buy it, it'll shift this week, uh, if not tomorrow. And then the mouse pads, I forgot to mention, I've been using during this stream. So we might make a black version at some point. There's some interest. But we have a blue and white mouse pad that we're really happy with. It's got super high, uh, just like really vibrant colors on it. And that is. I think, a pretty good size. So anyway, that's there. I'll just mention that on the store if you want to pick something up from the store. And we really need to restock shirts because a lot of you bought most of those. All right. Um, so we got uh, please record how to do this for your viewers. We'd love a guide. Yes, we will work on that. Uh, let's see, Titan Timings, Vince ne So yes, I got a lot of these comments as well. OK. Almost up to where we left off. <laughs> uh, oh. Somewhat new to GN, why so much hate for LTT? There's no hate for LTT. It was like a fun thing. Rip LTT was not like literally hating LTT. I, we work with Linus a lot. He's, he's a good guy to work with. Um, 
Okay. I'm trying to catch up to Super Chats. I'm sorry. Uh, Rip J and Paul, $10. Cameron Grieve, what do you think AMD are doing right now about ray tracing? I don't know. They had some ray tracing stuff that they pushed like years ago, like maybe a year or two ago. And um, if AMD is, is playing their cards right, literally, I think they should just push like Vega 56 and because the prices come down so much, like I said, the ad links below, but I was looking at the 580s and Vega 56 card when PowerColor approached us and went and looked at the prices and was like, wow, they're finally an option again. And I feel like AMD is too quiet on it. So I'd really like to see AMD kind of do some kind of push and say like, hey guys, the mining thing's over. It's done. Uh, it's done ski, as we've said in chat. And the cards aren't like ridiculously overpriced anymore because they do have good stuff. I don't think they need to go the ray tracing route yet. Just like get up to where we are today uh, or get some market share. Uh, okay, so I caught up to where we were just scrolling. We got Nate Dog, $5. Can you do a BIOS overclocking video or point me to a good tutorial? Seems like everyone's methodology is completely different. Yes, it is. Clearly, we all have limitations. I have a lot of limitations on skill. So you start looking like Buildzoid has hour long videos per motherboard. That'd be a good place to go if you really want to get into it. But um, there are plenty of guides for easier overclocking. Overclock.net, I would honestly recommend a written tutorial, not a video tutorial. Overclock.net has really good user community guides. I strongly recommend it. Uh, WC Current got that answer. Oh, Tech Jesus is the cane pin of cane bins. That, I don't know what that means. Bobbis commentary, $2. Jay is using an AC cooler on his CPU. I don't know who to believe anymore. Ryan, $5. Let it burn, increase the thrust to 150%. That is what we did. Uh, the Martin C, did I just call it GPU modded voltage? Nope, sadly not modded voltage. We could use that though. Uh, John Stevens. Donate to me a 2080 Ti, and he gave $25. Not really a fair trade. Method, method. Uh, you're really not going to answer, man. What shampoo do you use? No, I'm not going to answer. I already told you the answer. It's thermal paste. Jason Kristoff, $5. When benching or stressing 1800X, CPU ID says frequency, uh, says on frequency, then when stopped, it says, oh, one frequency, then when stopped, it says a higher frequency. Uh, is this a glitch I've seen as high as 4300? I uh, CPU ID says one frequency, then when stopped, it says another, higher. Yes, um, set power mode to high performance and use Hardware Info 64 instead for more accuracy. Hardware in six, Info 64 is really good software if you don't have it. Sam T, $10, thank you very much. Hey, Jan, love your work, YouTube events. While I'm here, any EVGA guys still here, maybe help me out with a 780 Ti cane pin, got a 1200, want more, but can't find any up-to-date forums, tools, or BIOSes. I don't think you need up to date. Just find a uh, find an old one, um, <clears throat> and uh, they're plenty good even today. Jay, uh, the P chat read five dollars. Does NVLink bridge fit for two 2080 Ti Strixes as of now, and what size should I buy? It does. Uh, just make sure the cards are the same height, and you're fine. You won't run into the problem we did. And then also, what size you should buy depends on the slot spacing on your motherboard. So check how many slots there are uh, gapped between the cards. It's like this. I don't know if this is two slot spacing. I forget, but um, they have different slot spacings. And we have Stormos, ten dollars, sending Steve some pizza money to ask a question that was already asked dozens of times. How is the new office streaming setup? I noticed the table is much less wobbly. Yeah, well, this one is like a three hundred fifty pound table that's eight feet long. So uh, I don't know. That'd be pretty damn hard to get to wobble. It, it's great though. We love the office streaming setup. So much easier to set up. Uh, we can do stuff like the next thing you're going to see is probably me putting that thing in a chiller, because or, or an ice bucket, maybe not a chiller. Because I mean, like, look at all the space. We lined up the other table over here specifically uh, for use with an ice bucket. Never used it, but like, we've got the space now, so we can do some really cool stuff. Don't mind the glass cleaner. We're filming cases, uh, so we have plenty of space. And really looking forward to using it more for, um, for other streams and videos. Uh, $5 from Stinky Pete. Love my mod mat and want a cup now. Uh, will you be doing gold chalices with the GM logo and precious jewel soon? We have talked about a special piece of glassware, but I guess I'll stop there. But we, we do have some pretty cool ideas for what we can do next. Um, 
Thank you for buying the mod, Matt. That's awesome. And, and thank you for your interest in the glass or the mug, whatever it is. Uh, they're on the store. If anyone wants them, links below. Ivy Mike, $5. Does a six pin on the MSI 2080 Ti make a difference? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have it yet. Uh, $5, let me see current. Here's $5 to buy a bag of ice. This is now a Cold War. Shunts fired. <laughs> Nicely done. We will do that. Um, Autumn Bones, my 1080 Ti SE. Oh, I answered your question earlier. Nick, $5. Put the whole test bench in an enclosed box with AC directing into the box. Yeah. I guess that'd do something. That might bypass the uh, condensation concerns. Travis, somewhat new to, oh, got that question. Why the hate for LTT? There isn't actually any hate. Uh, we respect each other. Adam Schumann, senior, $20. Rip J, Rip Paul, since you would not let me sponsor a table, I will sponsor Snowflake's Habit, $25 for cat treats. Thank you very much, Adam, who then followed up and said $5. Oops, here's the other five. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Uh, Michael Morales, 4.99. Are all RTX cards power starved when overclocking? Will board partners be able to go beyond what Nvidia suggests, or is that a no-go? Sort of, but even they have limitations. So yes, they are all power starved. They are voltage starved as well, uh, but maybe for a good reason. Now, I'm going to check normal chat for a moment. How is how is normal how is chat going? Uh, <laughs> they're still pasting the graphics scores. I guess it's probably people who are, who are like uh, catching up behind a bit. Thanks for the tips, Vince. Is he still in here or something? I don't think so. All right. So chat's just kind of handing out. Paul's here apparently. Wait, is Paul here? Is he actually here? Paul responded. Where is this Paul you speak of? Paul's hardware says I would love to join. If that is in response to. Uh, in response to the like Kingpin J thing at EVGA HQ, definitely join. That'd be fun. All right, good to see you, Paul. Um, so yeah, final score for those who asked was fourteen thousand three sixty-seven points. Jay's current score, which I need to upload this soon before he beats mine, is uh, fourteen thousand forty-three. And we're gonna keep this going. He called in for a bit. We talked. Uh, he exposed chat for being the liars you all are, and. Uh, we're going to keep it going. So I'm about 300 points ahead of him in total score right now, but I know he's got a lot up his sleeve. So we will definitely be responding again. Monitor went to sleep. Um, all right. So uh, a couple more to go through. <laughs> MFM art, $5. Thank you very much. Steve, will all these burns tonight, with all these burns tonight, will we be seeing a reveal for Gamers Nexus brand ointments? <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, OK. Dave, five dollars. When is the Raglan? Oh yeah, Raglan hoodies coming back in stock in about a week or two. Answer that one. Uh, Savile SA, two dollars. Please show sexy hardware setup for new viewers. Showed that earlier. What CPU are you running? 7980XE. Why? Why do you guys? Why? Why do you do this? Jennifer Roger, five dollars. Can we get winter GN hats or beanies? We have talked about potentially doing beanies. Um, so yeah, we can look into it for sure. Uh, Michael Morales, is overclocking any GPU uh, producing enough gains to truly make it tangible enough considering the additional wear and noise? I honestly don't, like if I'm in a game, I'm not going to overclock my GPU to do it unless it's really holding me back. Like if you're on, say you're on like a 1070 Ti and you want a 1080 but you're, in terms of performance, you can overclock and equate a 1080. In fact, you can even get pretty close to an overclock 1080. So there are times it's worth it, but um, it's easier if it's underwater, if you have really good airflow, so you don't have to worry about the noise too much. Richard, uh, 499, Richard Torelli. Love the live streams. Are you not running the 10% discount while live this time? No, um, we are going to run the 10% discount, though, in the next fan mail segment. I think I might just do it in those uh, as a, like a, um, a viewer like, I don't know, giving back thing, because the fan mail should be a lot of fun to do anyway, just with the viewers, core audience. Uh, PR Captain Planet, 150 NT, Titan T Refi, too loose. Also, Vince sends you down two pops. Uh, Jeff Son, HK $5, thank you very much. Seville SA, oh, you got that question already. Uh, we're just going through all the super chats. I'm almost caught up. <laughs> Pickles the greatest, $2. Jay's score is live, 14884 on 3D Mark Hall of Fame. Is that one reality? No. No. I'm not going to fall for it. You're wrong. 
<laughs> Two dollars, Alec. Chinese food fund. Thank you very much. Post apocalyptic. No, scroll up. Post apocalyptic Peter. Uh, I'll get back to it. I'll find it. Oh, while he's here, build Zoid for 1v1, Kingpin, no robo. Um, yeah, it'd be cool if they both had the same like budget and setup. Damage, $5. Steve, make a larger limited edition mod mat. Have it ready for the 4th of July and call it the Murica mat. Let's oh God. make mod mats great again. Okay, I regret reading that. Mustangs by Matt, $2. Thanks for the Acronis suggestion. I said that was the last one I would read. And there are a couple more, so I'm going to do you a favor and read those. This is it, though. Uh, Nina had hashtag 200 of uh, currency I don't recognize, sorry. Love your content. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Uh, AU Grattan or Gold Grattan, $1 Canadian, and then $2. You better sign my mod mat with a heart. I, I don't look through like for the individual names, I'm sorry, but I will definitely be signing it, of course, if you bought uh, one of those. Ravioli Formuli, $2. Yee, 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 yee. Wishbone, $2. Why not do mineral oil fish tank with other mods? I need to get the expert, Luke, from Linus Tech Tips. And for that, of course, reprise his role as the mineral oil expert. He once told me a story about how, at Best Buy, he, uh, they didn't recognize him. And they started telling him about mineral oil cooling PCs. And he, he, the way he said, described it to me when he was talking was, uh, going through his head, he was like, no, you don't, you don't understand. I, I am that. I am mineral oil cooling PCs. Uh, so anyway, all right, guys, thanks for watching. As always, we will be definitely doing more of this. And GN Logo Pen, uh, we can look into that too. But there's stuff on the store, store.gamersnexus.net. We'll be doing more streams soon for building PCs and for fan mail. And of course, we have lots of non-GPU content coming up, of course. Uh, for the scores, one more time, just because people are going to skip to the end when they're watching the, the upload. It is 14,367 currently, with a graphic score 15,053, and a CPU score 11,422. Kingpin himself joined chat and gave me some suggestions on how to improve the graphic score number. In fairness, I told Jay what those improvements were, so we're on the same footing. We're not taking just like pure uh, help from a literal professional. Uh, so Jay has that same information. He'll be responding, probably potentially beat this score, and then we'll respond with that. So. Uh, we'll keep it going. Thank you for watching, as always. Go to store.gamersnexus.net to help us out directly there. You go to patreon.com slash gamersnexus to help us through that method as well. And I think that's it. So subscribe for more. I'll see you all next time.